Hello, I'm Matilla the Hun. Allow me to welcome you to the first episode of Tainted Bloodlines, our Pathfinder 2nd Edition live play campaign featuring members of the Digital Dungeons community. Tainted Bloodlines is a campaign idea that spawned from plans to play Curse of Strahd that got turned on their head. We're still going to deliver with that vampires and werewolves horror and dread idea though. What we have for you is a game set in the gothic horror capital of Galarian, Ustalav. We'll be taking a tour of its lovely, fog-covered lands as we explore all of the awful and horrific subject matter it has to offer. We're going to start it right off by diving into Book 1 of the official Pathfinder Adventure Path Carrying Crown, a haunting in Harrowstone. Hope you enjoy! Hello! Uh, yep, we're unmuted. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to episode one of our new stream, Tainted Bloodlines. We're gonna jump straight into this. So, our four friends here are... They find themselves in the small Ustalavan town of Ravengro. A small town sitting on the shore of Lake... What was that? Lake Luya? <clears throat> but they happen to find themselves in the midst of a, a holiday going on. This mid-fall holiday, the Procession of Unforgotten Souls, celebrated by devotees of Phrasma, the goddess of death and finality. It's a holiday holiday to commemorate those who have fallen and remain fallen over the course of these there's various uh, rituals and celebrations to to honor the uh, the past souls. It's during these festivals that we find Pravinka, Pravinsa, Andreas, Zalix, and Zaven in their usual haunt, the graveyards just outside of Ravengro. We'll go ahead and go down our line, starting with uh, starting with Andreas, played by Sir Baird. Yes, my name is Andreas Zalkal. I am your normal average Valrician, but I have been affected by a strange curse that I am seeking to resolve. Unfortunately, my baby child is the same, and I have found my way here, searching for the mysteries of my balance and what happened to curse me as an innocent little babe. I have met some amazing friends, however, and I am sure that we are going to have a fantastic time. The Cursed Wanderer, Andreas Zalkar. Followed by the mysterious Zaven Ridgestrider, played by Vulcan. Yes, my name is Zaven. Most just refer to me as X. Ah, uh, for whatever reason, the it's the nomenclature stays that way for whatever reason. Uh, I'm wandering scout and gunslinger, uh, on a journey for Farazma. Reduce the threat of undead in the land. <clears throat> I've met up with uh, my compatriots here in this graveyard and we seem to be of a like mind for the most part on the removal of undead so that I agree with and I shall travel with them as long as that remains the goal <laughs> my clan the ridge striders that I was of before my uh, untimely demise and return uh, apparently 
works in the mountains here in the Ustalov area. I don't remember much of my family other than my name. Alright. Displaced Ridge Strider. Next we have a rather strange being. A fae that's found themselves residing here in Ravengro. We have Provinza Bramblefog, played by our very own Gecko. Um, hi, uh, my name is Provinza Bramblefog. Um, I just, you know, chaos has always kind of spoken to me. Um, I've kind of been living at this graveyard for a while now. And I think it's kind of funny uh, to see when people come to me asking when they're going to die, and I just uh, say whatever's on my mind. And they believe me, and I think that that's fun. <laughs> um, and so at this festival of uh, celebrating dead, it's really time to shine, I think. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and then we have that brings us to Zalix Wallowheart. Wallowheart? Can you say that one for me? Wallowheart. Well, what? Is Alex Wallowheart performed by only Shadowkin? If you're watching the other stream, you might recognize her. Alex. Yeah? <laughs> That's it. Oh Alright. Hmm. Maybe in time to come, this uh, eye patch gnome may reveal a bit more. <laughs> but, as we follow in on uh, this, these four in the graveyards of Ravengro they're looking on a procession as a coffin and a number of grievers appear at the gate of the, of the graveyard a woman in a red dress tears streaming down her face leads the procession it's not very long until Provinza you recognize that to be Kendra Lorimore, daughter of your good friend and mentor, Petros Lorimore. Doesn't take much to uh, put two and two together. You haven't seen Petros in almost a month. The man usually comes to visit you at least once a week bringing tea and getting one of your questionable card readings. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I think I want to uh, go flit on over and just kind of see what I can pick up on what's going on, not immediately trying to interrupt. Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll just like, kind of fly over and see what I can pick up. Uh, not really trying to stay hidden, but also not necessarily trying to get in the way of things and just see. Sure. Whatever I can pick up. So, the rest of you who had been kind of hanging out, talking, discussing what to do with the, the rest of the day, and just sees Provinza suddenly take great interest in a particular ongoing, and start fluttering over there. <clears throat> Zalix, being completely disaffected with the conversation, follows Provenza immediately. Mm. Not even remotely concerned with what's going on, just <laughs> making sure that Provenza doesn't go anywhere without her. 
Perhaps it is another chance to make friends again, yes? Provinza seems to know these people. Uh, let We should go forth. This will be a good time for everyone. We can have a celebration and maybe a, a drink to mourn the passing of our good friends and celebrate life ever further. And, and I'll follow. Zavin, Zavin just raises an eyebrow at this and I'm without very saying anything <laughs> doesn't really doesn't really say much he just kind of raises an eyebrow and just follows the group because where there's dead there's a chance for undead and he doesn't like that sure so follow those of you with uh you over the over the past couple weeks you've definitely seen andreas's hearty attitude toward the uh, the rituals has been while refreshing it makes him stand out as a lot of these rituals involve the uh, attendees in solemn silence though with uh, Andreas's friendly attitude it doesn't take long to break that <clears throat> as uh, as everybody moves their way over Provinza, Kendra looks up and sees you approaching, <laughs> and her her makeup smeared face shifts from uh, absolute sorrow to a little bit of joy. She gives you a smile. Provinza, it's it's so good to see you. I'm glad you and your oh your friends here could make it. Um, make make what? You you weren't informed. Informed of what? Oh, well, you see, my father Petros, he's he passed. She oh. gives a a long look at the coffin behind her. We're going through the rites of burial now. Since you're Wait, here, you... would you oh, like to sorry. take part it's as a, a final honor to him? Of course. Um, can I ask, when did he pass? He was found dead 16 days ago. I called it. He called it. <laughs> he... At that, that's the time when I show up. <laughs> <laughs> Bevinza, your, your prediction was true once again. You were able to properly predict when this fellow was going to die. But this one wasn't supposed to be correct this time. Uh, we are always right sometimes, Provinza. And then I just look at the with the woman. I shake uh, her hand. Provinza is just gonna kind of go over and just kind of land on Kendra's shoulder and just like try to. She Provinza stands like a foot tall, um. So she tries to hug her, but just like two very short arms, just like trying to wrap and just like barely reaches past her nose <laughs> while trying to hug this woman's head. Um, just to attempt to be comforting. Uh, well, I suppose there's a bit of joy to be had with uh, the proper burial ceremonies as we can properly put his soul to rest. Um, if you, as I said, would like to give him one last honor, uh, we are looking for those uh, for uh, volunteers to help carry the coffin down the uh, down the path. And you think I can carry him? No, but you oh. happen to surround yourselves with you happen to surround yourselves with uh, many strong folk. Yeah. It would be yeah. an honor to carry your friends for you, Perlevinsta. I would do this gladly for you. Zelix just nods at Provinza. 
bear that can't fucking handle you. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. You were expecting deep, dark, brooding edgelord. No. No, it wasn't. <laughs> this is exactly what I imagined. <laughs> Even just shrugs and waits to be told where to stand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just really anything. So each you takes a position. It looks like there's roughly six spots that can be filled in. Uh, the three of you go to fill a spot, and then a couple of the locals, you assume to be Petros's close friends from the town, take the other spots to lift up the, the coffin. As uh, as the procession proceeds down the the path in in silence, no, I'm chatting the whole way. I'm just oh. it's just small talk. <laughs> as you as you say things, to I this, have an eight charisma, people. I don't I don't understand that that's bad. When you when you try to happily talk to any of the uh, the locals that are carrying along with you, they kind of like glance at you, but they don't say anything. <laughs> These people, they, they don't have no joy in their life. Um, Andreas, somebody died. I think they're sad. Yes, but the, <laughs> people die all the time to remind us that life is worth living. <laughs> Andreas is great at funerals. <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> nobody can I stopped everything <laughs> as uh <laughs> okay so the procession moves further into the graveyard and it, it turns onto a winding path lined with graves and flowers as you're moving down this road you see a number of people wearing kind of tattered clothes and wielding various farm implements rushes out to the uh, into the path, blocking the uh, the procession. <clears throat> Kendra, brow furrowed, stares them down before the tallest of the group, a man with grayed hairs steps forward from the uh the, the blockade of people all right that's far enough we've been talking and we don't want Lorimar buried in the restlands you can take him up river and bury him there if you want but he's not he ain't going around here um why as a uh, kendra steps up what are you talking about I arranged with Father Grimborough. He's waiting for us. The grave's already been... You don't get it, woman. We won't have a necromancer buried in the same place as our kin. I suggest um, you move out while you still can. Folks are pretty upset about this right now. How many of them are there? There are 12 ahead of you. If you don't want... So, um, he's already dead. What's what's the harm? He can't raise them from the dead if he's already dead himself. But what if he has cast a dark ritual upon himself? But what if he hasn't? He's I don't dead. know. But he could maybe not be dead forever. Zelix kind of sees if the rest of the group can hold the coffin. Uh, can they hold it without her? Yeah, you Have think they set that it down. You think Andreas is strong enough for two men. <laughs> oh, jeez. So she would carefully let go, making sure that the rest of the group can hold it. Okay. So as you and kinda... step a, a step up ahead of. Provenza and this woman. Okay. And look you... at the rest of the group. I know that this town definitely needs a healer. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that I'm the only one left. <laughs> As 
So I suggest the rest of you get out of the way while we bury this man. <laughs> Should I roll uh, for intimidation? Yeah. Are you trained? That I don't. Uh, no, nope, I don't think I am. No. Uh, I I lean over to uh, guy. <laughs> to Zaven, and I'm just like, that is the most I have ever heard of Zalx. <laughs> <laughs> so intimidating, this now. Uh, Zalx rolls an eight. I'm gonna re-roll it <laughs> with my hero point. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> It's probably going to be worse. It's no, it's exactly the same. Excellent. The same. Exact same role. Amazing. That's an eight. It was meant Thank to you be. for being heroic. Yep, so heroic. <laughs> I think seeing that, so, uh, that prevents is just going to kind of not really attempt to help, but just go and sit on Zox's shoulder and just like cross her arms and be like, yeah, what she said. Oh my god. As Please a, are all intimidation. I want to see if she does it. As, as you two kind of make your point there, Kendra pushes past. Necromancy? Can you adults really be that ignorant? As the, uh, the gray-haired leader of, that, of the band ahead of you. Ignorant? You come here and defend a necromancer and call us ignorant. That that's it. We're taking the body. As six of them surge forward, pitch, pitchforks and shovels in hand. Yeah, I'm gonna draw down on them with my free hand. And no one desecrates any dead bodies today. <laughs> so is Alex is gonna step up. I agree with my trusted companion, uh, but could you all help me lower this coffin so yeah. I could get my stuff? <laughs> so, Zalex is, just, is there with our spear at the, I, can I try the first the man. With, the, with a gun pointed at the, the ones that are approaching space. Do oh, it! Oh, for... Oof. Whole whopping nine. It's not gonna work. Are we, work for us man, are we so much to better. Do it? No, Foundry just doesn't like us. You know, we found this out. Foundry's we angry. Were playing Extra Life last week. Foundry does not enjoy letting players win. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well so done, as, Foundry. As you guys get ready to take on this this wave of the angry mob, essentially. Um. Those of you that haven't stepped up yet are still holding um, on to the uh, the coffin. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you out your hero points before we get to this, though. More hero points? Oh, well, you haven't gotten them yet. It's Foundry. We're going to need them for these rewards. We have, we're <laughs> using the hero point card for... Uh, oh, the cards. Yeah. So we get, just... we get the cards. That's weird. That didn't display right. Well. Deal one of these to each of use, even Shadowkin. Okay. I can't read it. It's so freaking tiny. You can click it and it'll show up. Oh no! Yeah. So we're using a special system of hero points. Uh, instead of having the normal points, each of them has been divvied out a card. These cards, you can discard them for the normal hero point reroll, or you can play the card to activate the effect on the card. Some of them are like, you can perform an extra stride while attacking. Some of them are like grabbing a nearby object and using it to block incoming damage. Some of them are heightening a spell as you're casting it. <clears throat> Can I use this right now? Oh yeah, you got a good one? Reveal. <gasps> Man, that's pretty oh. good. Oh. Can I, I nice. reroll those intimidation checks twice? <laughs> but then you get to doomed if... If I Tell still fail. Tell you what. I will go ahead and let you do that. Okay. So go ahead and discard that card, and then okay. give me two intimidation checks. Right click, discard, close. Two intimidation checks coming up. Roll once. I take the better. Check again, roll twice. 
Okay, so 16. We got a 16. Another dang nine. That's. I, I'm telling you, Foundry is, uh, does not like me for what. I hate this. It's like it literally draws down on these guys. Uh, you know, what? it's like especially because you you blew the the hero card on it. I'm gonna say as you as you pull out the gun and stare them down. It's like you're able Love to intimidate. Will be desecrating corpses on this day. <laughs> Dedicated to Farasma. You shall back away now. <laughs> they kinda they kinda falter for a second. But then their their leader behind them kinda yells at them and they carry on. But they're because you spent the hero card on that, they're each frightened. Ooh. Yay. Oh. So Zalex is gonna step up and chuck our spear at the leader. No, Ooh. she's gonna roll initiative. <laughs> we're, just, we're, no. just, we're just gonna kill these farmers. Innocent individuals, <laughs> yes, indeed. Innocent farmers. Look, look, you, look you can see them on the. Commoner. You can see them on that uh, that uh, turn tracker. They're all commoners. Innocent farmers. Okay. It says there's no active encounter, and it's not letting me roll. Oh, that's right. You have to have an active encounter up. It's not uh, started. That's the You're that's in a first. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't. For whatever reason, it's not me roll. roll initiative. Where? Where? It's is like my... not. It's I not roll at all. Huh? You might need a refresh. That's that's a weird bug. Rip. I can roll Petros. presents though. <clears throat> wow, the commoners all roll. The commoners really all go well. first. <laughs> Except Four two of them. them. Wow. They rolled really well. <clears throat> okay, character sheet is pulled back up. Did you roll for me, Matella? Yeah, he went and rolled the dice for you. You got an 18. Cool. Sweet. <clears throat> All Thank right. You. So, yeah, they did fall through for a little bit as Zaven pointed his gun at them, but they're still being spurned on. They got to they gotta stop this necromancer. As uh, he's gonna run up. He's gonna swing. Ooh, what is? Wait, hang on. They have an ability I didn't realize they had. What does oh. that do? Pathfinder two, ladies and gentlemen. All oh. the enemies have special abilities. Gotcha. I didn't. I was not aware they had the power of the mob. That's excellent. Okay. This man's going to run up, and he's going to try to swing at Zalix with his farm tool. Getting oh a natural my god! <laughs> We're off to a great start. Uh, again, Good times. No. When we okay. die this round, it'll be glorious. <laughs> TPK session one, our call campaign this. ever. I'm writing that in the notes. I was oh waiting. So you're oh my god, are you you're, down? You're, you're taking no. 12 non-lethal. What does that mean to my life? Uh, you it means it means this won't kill kill you. It's twelve damage, but it'll make you like you'll fall over unconscious, not actually bleeding out. Okay. But he's got another attack. Oh my god. That's a fourteen to your AC. No. Nope. Okay. So that's going to end his turn. And we're gonna get rid of that fright. Um. Wait, Zalix, are you down? Not no. yet. Zalix isn't down yet. Okay, that was almost not twenty again. <laughs> uh, but I think an eighteen's gonna hit. Yeah, an eighteen will hit. Or another five non-lethal. Still not down. Still standing. You got more HP than I do. One point. <laughs> oh I need this God. dice to stop dancing around the 20. No. No, 14. <laughs> no. Oh my God. That was the same roll as the last time. No. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. The albino commoner. So. Oh, he's like me. 
Let me double check this power of the mob. Okay, so he's, because he's on the end, he's actually not getting his power of the mob bonus. But he's going to swing at this, this weird bat fairy thing. Oh my god. 20 to hit. Yeah, it's going to hit. That's going to be six non-lethal damage. Ow. That was a 19. That'll also hit. Our prayer three. Thin commoner. That'll really hit. <laughs> all, all I see is near death and badly injured. <laughs> it was. Jeez. I think we only get three actions against six enemies. Yay. He's only got one action to swing. So he's going to swing at. Oh, he doesn't like that cocky foreigner. So he's gonna throw. He's gonna try to swing at uh, Andreas. The law. I'm not a foreigner. Nope. Oh, well, he's not doing anything. And did not do that. This is my country. You're kind of dizzy. Born and raised. Me. Yep. It's Provinza's Pro turn. Oh, I'm. You're... I'm Provinza. I'm dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Uh, I. I don't think I like. Oh, uh, I had no chance to roll for that. Uh, but that wouldn't have done anything either way. Um. So here's the thing. I I don't like these guys at all. Um. So I think. Um. Can you help me figure out how to put? Uh, I'm gonna use one action to move five feet to get here and will i be able to get all of these guys in a cone uh without hitting uh there's a Zalex. Cone tool. it's gonna oh, be there is very a cone tool. tricky to not hit Zalex with that <sighs> what if i had moved to here instead because i'm still within my movement range oh uh, because that would just be 10 feet. That would not change anything. Um, I will just, this one guy that is closest to Andreas, uh, whatever, with him. Um, I am going to go ahead and cast Burning Hands. Oh, okay, so you're going to be making, you're using Burning Hands on the three commoners. Yes. Why am I not surprised you oh, chose okay. fire? <laughs> Um, cone to oh, that's nope, that's the wrong thing. That's nope, no, thank you. Uh, so are there you just hitting those three, or are you catching uh, Zalix in the in the cone to hit that I, third, the fourth one? You know, I don't think I want to hit one of my allies. Um, so I'll just hit those three. Okay. So uh, first one. It's taking full damage. Bam. He's taking half. Okay. He's taking full damage. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage for that. It's going to be eight damage. Uh, or half to four. Ow. Uh, only one of them passed. I think you did it backward. Oh, did I? I did do it backward. One second. Tee -hee. There we go. Fully just, like, acting out of, uh, like, don't mess with my friends, um, and just, uh, and accidentally, uh, commits arson. That's, that's not okay. All right, so that was a reposition, and then you threw out a spell, yeah. so you got to action there. 
Yeah. Oop, losing my turn tracker. There we go. All right. Um, still holding on to the coffin to try and provide balance. As a uh, hey, one second. As as the burning hands goes out, uh, Kendra calls out. They may be bloody idiots, but you don't have to kill them. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of <laughs> happened. I'm sorry, Kendra. Right. Um, so, still holding onto the coffin, I draw down on uh, the uh, the three that are up front. Sure. And I'm going to lay down cover fire. That do. Uh, let me go ahead and how do I pull that out so you guys can see it? There's usually like an icon next to it. There it is. Like Alright. Uh, lay down suppressive fire to protect allies by forcing foes to take cover from your wild attacks. Uh, make a firearm or crossbow strike. The target must decide before you roll uh, whether it will duck out of the way. If the target ducks, it gains a plus two circumstance uh, or a plus four if it has cover. Minus two. If the target chooses not to duck, you gain a plus one circumstance. So, okay. yeah, no, uh, you, you point the gun at him, he's definitely going to try to get out of the way. All right. Uh, I'm going for uh, just like a, a knockdown shot. Like, I'm going to try and kneecap him. Sure. Keep it all possible uh, um, to unconscious, but I'm going to aim at the first one that's directly in front of me. So, uh, uh, I think rules is written. You you can do the, the, the non lethal with it, but you're just taking a, a penalty. Okay. I think non-lethal is only melee attack. That sounds right. I think oh, we so had I this discussion before. Non-lethal thing with a gun just doesn't sound right, you know? If you aim for a kneecap, I mean, but yeah, okay. Um, Shit. I didn't realize I couldn't non-lethal. Um, like if I drop this freaking casket, just... I don't right. want to drop the casket. This is bad. Uh, I don't have anything I can do then. If I don't non... Well, okay, so what I'll do instead, instead of aiming at the three guys up front... That looks like I'll it works with any the... weapon. Huh? I think it works with any weapon. Just not... I, I, so, I, it just says weapons. Yeah, I think that's what we found last time. So, okay. tell you what, I'll let you do the non-lethal. Take the, the normal, like, non-lethal penalty, which I think is a... Minus two. Minus two on the attack? Sure. I'll throw a minus two on it. Uh, let's see, so... Gotta figure out how to activate the action. Uh because I click the action and you'll, it you'll make a normal you make a normal strike oh strike right so this one and then add circumstance minus two uh, he's got right. a plus two to the AC for this because he's trying to get out of your way all right and I will roll that's gonna hit him though all right Good. so uh like I said, just going for the kneecap to try and yep. knock him over. He'll sure. pass out from blood loss. Whatever. Not dead. <laughs> uh, so it's, again, the one that's directly in front of me Yeah. for that one. Roll me your damage. Oh, got to roll the damage. Right. Uh, t All right. Bonk. Bonk. So he's going to take Bonk. that. I know the screen says he's dead. He's not dead. Not dead. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will go ahead and make a second attack with my additional minus. Uh, how do you do the? So it's the minus three or what? what is... uh, minus five, minus two. Right. So right. see those on here. What it's on whatever here? the second or third one is yeah. on your map. So if you're using token action HUD, you have like a plus seven, um, then like a plus three, then a minus one or. Or my plus two. Oh, I see. Minus. Okay, so plus two is the next one. Okay, sweet. Yeah. And yeah. Like, I take a minus order. two again for trying to do the non lethal shot. So minus seven total uh, as I attack the next one. Trying to force cover. That one's not going to hit him, though. That's fine. Uh, and then I will take. Uh, let's see. I don't want to let go of the casket. Uh, I will. My option here. Um, do thoughtful reload. 
Can you reload one handed? Oh shit. Uh, did that your hands reload a bullet? Oh, I don't know. I don't think I can now that I think about it. So. <clears throat> fuck. I have to let go of this goddamn casket or else I can't do shit. So I'll take the time to carefully. Then I'll take my action for my last action this round to, to try and uh, set the casket down gently. Sure. To sit. So uh, that will be my last action. And it turn. Okay. So you start working with the uh, other people carrying it to try to gently set down the casket. That skipped Andreas' turn. There we go. Chris. So, can I drop the casket as a free action? Just like dropping an item? You can, yeah, you can let go of it. No problem. I'll hold on to that just in case. I'll, I'll start with a. I'll use my interact to draw my staff. Sure. Uh, and, and wield it in my hand. And I'll just look at this guy uh, next to me. I'm like, there is enough dead today. It does not have to be you. And then I'll swing at him non lethally. Sure. Uh, just a normal strike. It's not going to get it. Oh, wait, actually, that was that was counting your minus two. Yep, that will Yeah, that's with a minus two. That does hit him. Okay. All right, and then... <laughs> for eight total... Non Bonk. Bonked him on the head. Ow. And, Bitch, be cool. And then I'll swing <laughs> one more time at him. Okay. Uh, also non-lethally. I love how you guys are like, I'm going to make sure that this is non-lethal and that this <laughs> that is like hurt. fire. <laughs> that's all right, Alex is going to spear gonna... someone. <clears throat> yeah, and that's it. Draw bonk bonk. Alex, yeah. you're not feeling too good. <laughs> so Alex is going to... Alex is going to make a good berry and eat it. Is that, <laughs> is that two actions? Or is uh, that three? How much is it to cash good berry? Two. To cast good And berry. then it would be a third interaction, I believe, to, to consume to them. To eat it. I think you can eat multiple, too. I don't, I don't think the... I can make more than one, though, yeah, at a time. You can't make multiple Not at this you're a level. higher level. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. All right, so I, I'm going to hold off on that. Um, I am going to try and medicine myself. This is going to end badly. You got this, Alex. Does that succeed? Yep, what is that's, that? that's 2d8. Wait, yeah, you have battle medicine, yeah? Yeah. Perfect. You can do it. Alright. <clears throat> it's 10 health back for Alex. I told you that you weren't uh, gonna die today. He wants to die. <sighs> she sighs like really, really deeply. All right. How badly oh, hurt actually, is Actually, that was uh. Yeah, you still have actions. I, I, I should, uh, Yeah, I have two one. actions. Uh. uh Provinza is bloodied. Provinza got beat up pretty good. This is Alex is gonna move her, to Provinza. <laughs> and, um try and medicine her. That is not my sheet. <laughs> <laughs> you feeling better? <laughs> that's a crit. Yeah, yeah that's a crit. What, that's a crit. That's... AC. So what's that, 48? 48, yeah. That's good. There's also, oh wow. Under uh that is under token action hub, if you go under utility, there's a treat button. So auto token. everything for super you. handy. Alright. Oh my Prince god, Alex, 15. I love you so much. 
Quince is full <laughs> health again. You can't die until I die. I mean, my own horoscope said that I wasn't supposed to die for at least two days. So well, I don't you're think good. I was two... right. All right. At least two days. But were you not wrong about this one dying today? No, she was right, right about the about other one goal. dying. I'm right about my own too. I said nobody. At least that he was gonna die. All right. Didn't say I was. We're we're swatting the fly. Am I the fly? You're the fly today. <laughs> That'll hit. Oh. <laughs> Who hit her? Which one was this? The new one that just ran up underneath the dead one. Oh, was he underneath? Well, let me let me yeah. do this. Yeah, there's a dead body there. Let me, let me, let me drag him off the side of the road. <laughs> he gets defeated oh, out of there. <laughs> Try uh, a yeah, second but... bonkerino. <laughs> nah. Uh, that will not hit. Five. You're pretty frightened. And here comes the frightened, or the aggressive carboner. Having to deal the with one this. That started it all. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Come to deal with the guy with the stick. This <laughs> freaking guy. Ooh. <laughs> nope. I don't. I don't think that'll hit no. anybody. <laughs> that does. Maybe. Nope. nope. Oh. Magus got moves. Ooh. Get stunned right. on. I forgot that I have energy shot up automatically upon rolling initiative. There should have been extra damage. He's chasing after. Gonna swing at Zalix. He's no longer frightened and has the power of his buddies at his back. Still missing. <laughs> Whiff! Zalix dodges uh -huh. his side. Whiff! She dodges the other side. <laughs> All right. Well, you're not good at commoner. hitting, are you? The amusing commoner doesn't like that he just got lit on fire. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Smart. <laughs> that one gets <laughs> to live. Everyone else is gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Starting with the one that hit Pervinza. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just got knocked upside the head and is also agreeing with that idea. Oh, intelligence. <laughs> As uh, the ones who just moved in to keep fighting turn back, where the hell do you think you're going? <laughs> Provinza, it is your turn. Can I try? Can I exp. Oh, ooh. Pop ups. Um, am I able to. I would like to try to intimidate them into leaving us alone. Sure. I'll, I'll just turn to these guys. I'm like. I can and I will try to set you on fire again. Let us bury my friend and we will stop. He can't do anything if he's already dead. Uh give me your yeah. give me your check of choice. I think I was the intimidate because uh, you're threatening to light them on fire again. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing that I'm untrained in. 21? Oh good. Oh, scary fly. Oh good. Yeah, <laughs> scary don't, little Don't bat. mess with the fly. She is bad shit crazy. <laughs> uh. uh. Alright. Yeah, no, they uh on seeing half their little gang start backing off and the the bat tossing out gouts of flame. Uh who are you targeting with that in that uh intimidate? Or are you trying to Um uh, the one who seems like the leader. Uh, the leader's yeah. the leader's still like shouting from off map. Um, then uh this, uh uh then the one who did get hit by the fire. Uh, this yeah, dude right the, here. Yeah. That I'm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he's <laughs> the one who's already been on fire once. He's not too keen about the idea of being lit on fire again. See, he is fleeing.
Anything else, Provinza? Would that count as one action? Yes. Cool. Um, this guy right in front of me, I don't think I like him very much just for existing. So I'm gonna, uh, try to hit him with my... Uh, let's try to hit him with... Your toothpick. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say let's do a gouge and claw. Oh. Uh, All right. Um, I think it does less damage. Around. <laughs> She's like, let me bury my friend, and nothing will happen. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. I see this guy. He's shredding people. Yes, it is not letting me. Uh, it put it into chat. Then next, you have to hit the attack button on the chat thing. Ooh. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you. Twenty-two. <laughs> Ow. You almost crit him. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Get bombed. Did we didn't we say this was a like a powerful spell last time? Oh yeah. It's a good spell. Yeah. Yeah, good. Just like just let us bury him and we'll leave you alone. And then she just like claws him up. Across the face. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, finished with the setting down of the coffin. I'm gonna go ahead and take my first action to thoughtful reload. Uh, so I'm gonna make a knowledge check. Okay. Uh, uh, what type of check do you want to uh, these know what would get these guys to leave? Just society? Oh yeah. boy, untrained. Okay. While I do this here, nice. 17, uh, try and figure out the best way to, you know, um, get these guys by, out of our way. Judging by <laughs> the way they've been fighting and the fact they're not they're not trained, they're clearly not trained. They uh, the way they've been fighting you with the tools, they don't look like they're actually here to to, you know, they don't want to see anybody actually die. They're just here to kind of rough you up. Um, alongside that, they're pretty quick to, to turn and run from what you've seen. In fact, that one that's right in front of you has uh, thrown down his his tool and is like turning heel as we speak. Great. I'm going to point at the badly injured one that's behind him as so because I don't want to shoot at the one that's running away. Sure. Uh, and I will make an intimidation check against him with my now loaded pistol. Uh, <laughs> you have been given the option to uh, to run. I suggest you take it now. All right, give me that intimidate. Easy. Yeah, no, he's 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 not feeling this anymore. So another one is fleeing. Uh, and then uh, with my final action, uh, I'm going to try and kneecap the. Uh, <laughs> The the un, the uninjured one. The leader. The the one that's the aggressive one. Uh, I will attempt to do a kneecap, so I'll take a minus two, but I'm not shooting cover fire. So, sure. Uh, uh, strikes. Attack. Minus two. Add. Roll. Fifteen. That hits him. Okay. Damn it. Whole weapon two. Um. That means you too. <laughs> <laughs> and, and my turn. Saving over here, punctuating his sentences with bullets. All right, Andreas. I just have a, a quick question about sure. non-lethal, and whether it would work with spell strike and the spell damage since the spell damage is a rider on a weapon attack would that spell damage also be non-lethal or would the spell damage still be considered lethal since you normally can't non-lethal spell damage it's weird i can't find a ruling hmm because you don't go off a normal spell attack you go off a weapon attack that i can choose to make non-lethal I just don't know. If yeah. I can find it so I must. Yeah. No. The uh, the spell itself will be lethal damage because there is actually a meta magic to pick up non-lethal spells. 
Yeah, that's what I figured. I just wanted to ask. I'm still going to spell strike, but... Uh... Oh, you still get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're just going to... The spell damage first, and then the the weapon damage after. Can we do it in are order you, are of you operation? Like, are you, like... You're, you're enchanting your staff with, with Gouging Claw, then tapping him as lightly as possible. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> like it's going to explode into this guy and then hit him upside the temple if it hits. So, so, does that make sense? Sure. <laughs> so I, I just look at the guy and I'm like, you chose your fate. And then I will uh, spell strike <laughs> non-lethally. Uh, minus two circumstance bonus. We'll see if we hit here. That'll hit. It's All like right. You hit him like square in the chest. So like the staff blow isn't isn't gonna do much real damage, but it's very unpleasant. So the gouging claw is seven, and then uh, what, what, where are you going? I double clicked you. Why'd you? <laughs> it's the, like I'm getting the, the staff is. <laughs> Ten, but non-lethal. <laughs> I double clicked him and he just flew up across the map. What is going on? Uh, well, actually, he had a. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> well, the gouging claw wasn't enough to put him down, but the staff strike Good. was. And then I look at whoever's like off screen directing them and be like, "Stop it now!" And that's that's. Are they off be... screen or is well, is that the guy? No, there's another six, including the like the ringleader, or off screen right now. Yeah, and I'm not gonna use my third action since it looks like these other guys are preparing to run away. So I just want to point out, Andreas here. has been like one hand holding up the coffin still as he's bonking people with a stick with the other. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm just nonchalantly holding this coffin and just whack, 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 whack. Like, stop. All right, stop. Pai Mei, slow your roll. Uh, so, Zalix, two, two men are unconscious in the road, and the other two are turning to run. The, okay, uh, well, she's gonna cast Scatter Scree on the one that... Uh, tried to hit Provenza without trying to hit scree. Provenza. Hold on one second. <laughs> Scatter scree. If I'm if I'm in No, she's gonna had position it to there. not hit Provenza. Huh. Yeah. It targets like two five foot cubes. Yeah, place one foot line one ten foot line, gotcha. Uh, if, I mean, if it's one ten-foot line, you'd be able to hit both these fleeing people next to you. Good. She'd like to hit both of them. <laughs> they need a reflex save. Oh. Or not. Uh -oh. <laughs> they shouldn't have messed with the bat. <laughs> Yikes. They don't mess up. All right. He's, uh... He's, He's still up. She's... Oh, me... He's still up. This one is not. Okay. This one. Oh, actually, no. Uh, as they turn to run, you make rocks fly off the ground and bludgeoning both of them. Them taking like the the rocks that line the graves, so, like a pile of them nearby the road, just flies out, domes them across the head. So you just see the one green, solid like neon green eye and her skull like burn extra green and she flings her arm at them and just rocks knock the sh out of them <laughs> pretty sure they're dead <laughs> they're dead dead that was uh, a so I are we out of a little dead. are That's... we out of combat now yes then she would spare the dying on everybody who's down okay so everyone <laughs> Well, well except this guy over here, because he's oh, unconscious. Sorry, except for one guy. <laughs> and I think this guy is unconscious also. Uh, yeah, the the two closest to you, Provenza, just uh, mm -hmm. got taken out with uh, blunt force trauma. 
The, uh, oh, that's nice. The one near Andreas is out cold, and the one that's been dragged off the side of the road is out cold. But they're I, good. I do not mean to interrupt, but this coffee, it, it is getting quite heavy. Uh, do we need to take out these other six? Zalex uh, walks back over and I'll hold the, <laughs> the coffin again. Yeah. As, uh, as you finish... Zayden will um, reach up and grab as you finish tending to their wounds to make sure they don't just bleed out in the middle of the road, uh, yeah. you can see the ringleader and the rest of the cronies have made scarce. They're they're running off. Good. So she walks back over and picks up the coffin again. <laughs> I, her, I think her cheek is dead. twitching. <laughs> oh, that feels much better on my shoulder. As, uh, as you're getting ready to take uh, the coffin again, uh, you see an old man wearing... Uh, Long black robes with a symbol of Phrasma dangling at his chest, and two men with shovels following after him running up. They're not dead. They're not dead. <laughs> they're not dead. They just look like they are. Um, they're just they're not, today, not, not they gonna get up that. until I want them to. <laughs> yes, I but could've told them that they weren't gonna die today. They didn't there are to a lot of, of dead people here. Yes, we are in a graveyard. Why don't you worry about the ones that are already dead? <clears throat> as uh, as they rush up, the uh, the older the older Phrasman priest speaks up. Uh, <clears throat> what the devil is going on here? <laughs> well, there are no devils here. It it is just people who do not wish to respect the rights of the dead. My friend died, and we just wanted to bury him, and they said that we couldn't. Um, he so died exactly when Pervinza said as well. She can see the future when it comes to death. I can. Do you want me to tell you when you're going to die? I can tell you. <laughs> it's going to be sooner if you start messing with us in this <sighs> body right now. Of, says that to a priest of Phrasma. <laughs> it's... <sighs> I'm glad you're okay. And no, I did not know when I will die. For with Phrasma's graces, it will come when I'm re when she needs. Me. As for these, so folk, celebrate. The uh, the grave diggers begin dragging the uh, the unconscious thugs to the side. <clears throat> we'll make sure they'll be okay and report their actions to the sheriff. Zalix holds out a hand and prepares to heal them. I could bring them up now if you'd like. No need. He actually grabs his symbol of Brasma as it begins to glow. And everybody heals for 23 hit points. Whoa. Everybody else included? Yep. Uh, um, I'm dead. Him included? Oh, no. oh shit. <laughs> shit! Uh, so I, <laughs> I immediately, I immediately just fall unconscious and like blood's like oozing from me. My skin's like scarred and, and damaged. <laughs> you do get a save. Jesus Christ! I forgot about uh, that. <laughs> Uh, I, I oh no! <laughs> yeah, that's. Also, is it twenty-four for half damage? Oh my god! Twenty-four <laughs> trying to get. Yeah, twenty-four will give you half damage. Okay, uh, that's eleven damage. <laughs> oh my god! Is just, he up? As this wave of healing energy shoots <laughs> everyone, Andreas just is like. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh you must ask before you do such a thing. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. <laughs> hurts you, am I right? Oh my god. Oh, I was cursed. Every child. Cursed. It, it Every day. It hurts me. Today, it hurts me. Curse. Yes. Yeah, why did you do that? I, it, oh. Oh, painful. 
Like, that's really <laughs> rude. You should really ask yeah. before you cast a spell on somebody. Well, consent is very it. important. Like, just because you are the clergy does not mean you can do what you want. <laughs> you should ask first. <laughs> oh, my God. With casting spells on people. You just go around <laughs> casting on anyone you feel like? <laughs> my skin is burned. Oh my god. <laughs> I think this is the only time that Alex has ever laughed in her life. <laughs> She's just cracking up at this point. There's just like yeah. burn splotches all over my flesh. I never heard of a curse that makes one burn from... The divine energies. It is oh, a horrible yourself. curse. Look educate at my eyes. Yourself. You think this is natural? <laughs> as as Zavin looks over at Andreas with almost the same black eyes, he just actually has pupils. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, God, no. it is a horrible curse I bear. I have never been able to be healed by traditional magic. Oh, God, why? <laughs> oh, I, I, I heard. This is going to, like, flit over to the priest. I'm like, I know it's really hard, but you Here. really have to check with people before Here. you cast a spell on them. Here, you it's get a not card. nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just no. <laughs> oh. Zelix so has to set down the coffin again. I, I'm just I'm holding a coffin. I'm trying to help people. Like, yeah, let's set the coffin do down. Set the coffin down. Set, just so take the priest gestures to the yes. two grave diggers. <clears throat> take the weight. That man is clearly not well. I, I, the, I, the grave diggers come to I take let the, them uh, take the coffin and I just shake my head. <laughs> kind of shake it off. I'm like, ah. <laughs> they, come, they come. They try to attack me. Andreas, I am fine. Yes, armor protects me. Zalex. <laughs> Alex makes two good berries and hands them to. Uh, <laughs> hands them to him. <laughs> I'll eat a berry. <laughs> two of them. She gave you two. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll eat the, the two <sighs> berries. Hold on, let me. I can't. God. My face hurts. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> I don't too. No, those are your two healings. Okay. Uh, Zout. <laughs> I do not know what I would do without you. You are such a great <laughs> friend. Oh, don't do that again, God. okay? Just, yeah. just whatever that was, don't die, yes, alright? Like, never tell yourself short. Uh, I I did ask for Vincent when I would die. She did not say today, but it was oh. a well, one. Well, then you should have known it was okay. It was a close one. I was worried that you might not be correct. <laughs> nah, Andreas, nah. when have I ever lied to you? I think never. I think, yes. David just I raised have his never eyebrow. once lied to you. <laughs> Provenza wouldn't lie, not about that. Provenza would never lie about anything in her entire life. Uh -huh. I'd like to sense motive on my own party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zalex is a little bit shady. <laughs> I kind of almost so, want to see what happens. Can I roll deception for saying that I would never lie to him? I, 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 I've got to roll like an insider. What, what's the what's the it's perception? It's a perception. 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 Oh, uh, I, I'm I'm not good at perception at all. I do. I'm just what rolling this for fun. Roll? Okay, it's fairly believable. I don't want initiative. Where the hell is my perception? Well, oh my god! god. <laughs> you don't believe her. I I believe it is maybe mostly. I, where true. is even perception? It know. is a under attributes. Yeah, it's not a skill. Yeah, it's an attribute, not a skill. It's, oh, it's right. an attribute. Open so where I've got to go on the... picture is, your portrait. Yeah. It's right under that. Is it? It says perception. It's on the yeah. sidebar. It's above initiative, or if you use oh, token I action see, hug, it, it's under attribute. I see. The HUD is the best. I am going to die, though. You guys just almost okay. killed me. 
I I I believe Farinza kind of. <laughs> she seems honest for now. For now. So Alex believes her. She she doesn't think that she's got any kind of mountain. All right. So <clears throat> let me close that that initiative tracker. Oh God. fully forgot about that, Baird. Oh, Matt. Everybody, <laughs> I'm, I didn't I am just a normal well, I, don't I did not I, forget. However, <laughs> <laughs> I was not the one who did that. Ow. Maybe there is more going on, but I am, I am normal human. Yes? Let's... Well, for now, wait, 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 wait. Give me your hands, Andreas. Give me your hands. Oh, I gosh. just, I just, I hold them both out. I'm like, tell me, Berlinsa, tell me my future. <laughs> You're going to die. Not today. You're not allowed to die today. Maybe tomorrow. Probably tomorrow not. Tomorrow I shall be, yes. I shall keep an eye out for death tomorrow, but not today, death. And not also today. For exactly <laughs> days into the future. Keep an eye out for that. Okay. But you should be I fine, be otherwise. <laughs> yes. You have heard it here! We can do whatever we want! We are fine! Fervinza has shown that- Oh, she did it read your palms, though. Fervinza and I, we are okay, yes? But perhaps the <laughs> rest of you, not so much! But if you die today, we shall bury you and have a great party to celebrate your life! Sir- Today, Fervinza? Today? Sir, this is a funeral. What is a funeral if not a celebration of the life that one had? You they are going to the hallowed halls of their gods. Oh, their right, souls but... are with plasma and on to their deities. It is a joyous occasion. Yeah. <laughs> they don't live in this oh. cursed hellhole of Ustalov anymore. Exactly. <laughs> I think with that, uh, Provincis is going to kind of turn back to Kendra and mouth the words, I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's better off. She looks at Kendra. <laughs> As uh, as the priest heals the unconscious thugs, they uh, they climb to their feet, each and every one of them with looks of shame, as they run off to join the rest of the group. I stay thirty feet away from the priest at all times. <laughs> Thirty-five feet. Thirty-five stay feet out of away. Blast radius. Snap. Social distancing. <laughs> All right, Beware then. those stray healings. Man. I am Father Grimborough, and I'll be the priest overseeing the burial today. Let us continue. She picks the coffin back up. <laughs> On the bright side, you guys didn't drop the coffin. It's very true. Yeah, yeah. We I we held on to that. <laughs> Just <laughs> one hand slapping people. If I hadn't needed to reload. Provence has done a really good job holding on to the coffin. <laughs> God. <laughs> As, uh... The procession moves to the final resting place for, uh, Petrus. The uh, the funeral procession go or the funeral ceremony itself is kind of solemn, a little little dour, as uh, the people gather around the, the the grave and begin lowering it in, lowering it in as Father Grimborough begins chanting prayers to Brasma. <clears throat> Kendra steps before the grave like she's getting ready to say a few words my my father was a great man he's this his studies and contributions 
to Lepestat. Shall... I... I'm sorry, I, I, I can't do this. As she has to step down. Perhaps her unable to... said you could say some words. He was your friend, yes? Yeah, I, I guess you could say he was my friend. Um... Kendra, must I take over? <laughs> only, only if you wish. Um. Uh. <laughs> Petros was a man. Um. Uh, he came and talked with me quite a few times a week. Um. He always kind of listened to me, and he was a very nice person to be around. Um, he will probably be missed greatly by people. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all I've got. Beautiful speech, Provinza, yes! <laughs> As, uh, as they finish saying their words, saying their final farewells, and lowering the coffin to the ground, a large man, large round man at that, steps up wearing some fine clothing. Miss Lorimore, you, and you four, as, she, as he points to Provinza and company. I have orders from Petrus Lorimore to read his will, and you five were called upon by name. Well, that is quite strange. I have never even met the man. I, I just assumed he was Pervinza's friend. <laughs> Zalx, is this your buddy as well? You have been here much longer than I. I don't know, were we friends? <laughs> Did he talk to me? For the most part, you may have ran into him once or twice. But... It is like a sad birthday party! It's a death day party. A death Happy day death party. day. <laughs> Happy death day, everyone! Oh, death day. Do they serve <laughs> olives? It's a great movie. <laughs> yes. The ma many olives on death day I have heard. <laughs> uh, why? What are we named in the will? Uh, do I do I get his buttons? <laughs> we'll be discussing that in a private location. Uh, oh, the Lorimore oh, okay. estate, I believe. Uh, thanks, I guess. He gives each of you a, uh, kind of like a half bow. But he gives the four of you, like, a weird, disdainful look at the same time. Before turning and walking toward the exit of the, of the graveyard. Can I tell what that was about? Do I think he's gonna do us harm? Sure, give me a perception. Yeah, do you want it blind or roll? open? Uh, just just roll it. Can I do one as well? Yeah. Or not? You know. <laughs> Twenty-two. <laughs> So you you recognize that man as a uh, councilman, Ash or yeah, Bashian Hearthmouth, and you know him to be not very fond of wanderers. <clears throat> wanderers, vagrants, and the like. That. Oh, vagrants! We're definitely vagrants. 
Uh, Zaven will swinging his gun while walking. <laughs> Get some spelling on that for my notes, please. Yeah. Thank you. I take notes. <laughs> I'm, Me I'm too. Up. There. And then they're official, not good. Uh, Wizards of the Coast notebook. The official notes Wizards of the Coast. You're using a Wizards of the Coast notebook or Pathfinder? It's the one that I, it's the one that I grabbed. <laughs> I had to refresh Foundry and my notes deleted themselves. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, this, this, this plugin, like, you gotta you hit controls S to have it save weird. It, otherwise it yeah, save I had properly. it, I had it open, I didn't realize I had to, it didn't auto-save, so. Yeah, it took me a while to get used to it. Oh, you put it in Foundry. Thanks. I was looking not in Foundry. You said he's not found of wanderers and such. Yeah. Wanderers and vagrants. Wanderers and vagrants, ah yes, all of which we are. <laughs> Thank you. Zalex looks over at Kenja, just to see her reaction, I guess, to this guy. She doesn't look really phased by it. You think she kind of saw this coming. The the will portion, right? Yes. She doesn't look like she's wigged out by the guy who just delivered his proclamation. No. Okay. Does she seem phased by the fact that the vagrants were named? She does kind of look at the rest of you. A little, uh... Curious. But she gives, uh, Provinza another smile and a nod. <clears throat> Provinza will just go over and, like, ask if it's okay if she sits on her shoulder. Of course. Of Is course. the seat taken? We'll, um, we'll reconvene at my estates and wait for the councilmen to appear for the reading. This has proven to be a most interesting day. We got to help Fervinza's friend. We did not die. We were attacked. Now we are getting gifts. <laughs> where I where I travel from in in the more eastern region of Ustalov, we do not have so many presents when people die. We we bury them. We we light the fires. We tell stories and we dance and we drink until. All is happy, and and then you know we pass out eventually, and and then the next day we are a little sad, but then we drink a bit more and we go, we carry on. We do not have presents like this. This is the most interesting custom in Western Ustalov. <laughs> do so you it's... always give presents like this in this part of the uh, the country? Is is this a Western culture thing? Zalex gives him what looks like a grimace. <laughs> Zalex, do you celebrate death days? When Mike comes, I bet I will celebrate. Whenever Provinza says it will be. <laughs> Not today. I'm not allowed to die today. <laughs> you, the only person you have not mentioned about not dying today is uh, is Zavin. I am a bit wrong. You have not predicted his his life for today. Well, if he doesn't want to know, then he doesn't want to know. I'm not going to tell him if he doesn't want to know. I respect <laughs> people. This is Phrasma's holiday, and Zaven, you, Phrasma is your deity, yes? I've already died once. I don't need to know when the next time is. You have died before? <laughs> Did we know that already? I don't remember you mentioning that. Hmm. Was it fun? I don't remember. Fun. Do you you <laughs> thought? But you it's met Phrasma, correct? She judged your souls? 
were you not worthy enough to die and that is why she sent you back man that's terrible uh, uh, Andreas, I think you're getting into some personal territory, and I'm not sure that everyone's gonna be okay with that. What well, well, come from people to share openly? Is this not the case? But, but not everybody likes to. Oh, you are correct. Like when the priest attempted to consent is very yeah. important. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Zayvin, <laughs> do you consent <laughs> to me asking you about your death? <laughs> Perhaps at another time. Okay, we will put that on the on how do you say the in the back pouch. Um, while this is all happening, could I see if I can steal any buttons from anywhere? <laughs> this is like from one of the guys that's like still recovering. Just like Uh sure. <laughs> do you have a, a thievery? No. <laughs> I'm untrained. I just want to see if I can get away with it. Go for it. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. Untrained. Uh, you you actually do find a uh, scrap of cloth that got torn loose during the uh, the brawl. And yeah, you got a button on there. Sweet. I'll pick it up and just like kind of bring it back over to Zalex. Like, I got you a present for being alive another day. I know it's hard, and I'm proud of you. <laughs> she takes it. She, she nods. Thank, thanks, Provenza. And she carefully plucks the button, tosses the scrap of, like, whatever it is, and, like, tucks the button under her eye patch. Gross. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's really gross. It's just an eye socket full of buttons in there. <laughs> Like a warped and twisted Coraline. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Zalex, do you ever take buttons out of there? Uh, should we be concerned hygienic? for your health? I wanted it to be safe. It was a present from you. Do you want me to use prestidigitation to like clean it first? Like, <laughs> thanks. I hate it. If, if we ever have, like, a tear on our cloth, we'll just be like, Zaus, can you open up your eyes so we can fix our clothes? He dispenses <laughs> buttons like a Pez dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> Let me out. Let me Button. out. Let the button. I don't, oh I don't want to run this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so my God, I'm going to cry. <laughs> There's a lot of comedy in our gothic horror game. <laughs> well, look at the crew that joined. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kendra leads you back to the, the Loremore estate <laughs> and leads you into a, uh, a lounge. So, so. <clears throat> Make yourselves comfortable. I'll be back with some drinks. Zaven kind of looks around the lay of the room and finds a window. Sure. That outlooks like towards the front entrance or back entrance or whatever side of the house the lounge is on. Yeah. Trying. And leans against the wall next to the window and kind sure. of glancing out occasionally. Yeah, so it's a... The the lounge itself is is a it's a pretty spacious room. A couple nicely cushioned sofas sitting in a bit of an arc around a fireplace. A uh, couple windows. The uh, the walls decorated with paintings of various members of the Lorimore Lorimore house. Um, sitting above the fireplace, in fact, is a painting of. Petrus. Let me grab that real quick. Got art for ya. Let me show this to everybody. Everybody. Yeah. 
Oh. Painting of oh, Professor paint. Petrus Lorimore. Oh, he is Silver Fox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks like a necromancer. Yeah. He's missing an eye, too. Man, same eye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I look at the painting, and I look at Zalx. And then I look at the painting again, and I look at Zalx, and then just kind of turn <laughs> my head sideways. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> no, no, Kai. If you look close enough, there's a there's a cut. <laughs> well, obviously, you are not related. You are gnome. He, he is human. It is not the same. So, as uh, Kendra comes back with uh, a like platter, like pitcher of water, a bottle of wine, a little bit of brandy, and some glasses. You guys are free to partake of that as she kind of sits in one of the sofas closest to the fireplace and then stares up at the painting. Zabin will pull a flask out from one of his coat pockets, take one sip and come back. <laughs> I'll take the brandy. And so we'll just look for anything that is small enough for her to eat. <laughs> then, uh, like, this must be a very sad day for you to have lost your father, is it? Yes, that's... I've had Why... time to recover, but it's fresh now. Why do you believe that the uh, the townsfolk accused him of uh, necromancy? That is uh, quite a strong statement to make for somebody. Uh, <clears throat> I do not know how to say it gently. Uh, they they wanted to maybe kill us for that. He is a scholar. He studied and taught at the University of Lepidstadt. And... Uh, those fools just don't understand. They see a learned man and they see curses and magic. I... I too was a, uh... a scholar. I am a learned man as well. I have studied the arcane ways and... and the ways of... religion, the occult, curses. For most of my life, I can appreciate a man who wishes to learn more about the world. Do you have any of his books, perhaps, that I might peruse? I, I would love to carry on a bit of legacy of, of the man in my life and perhaps learn from what he wrote. He has a collection of books, but most of these are simply novels. He never let me near his actual study. Ah, uh, did it? Do not worry yourself. There, there is much. I shall visit this university you mentioned one day, and I shall learn your father's legacy. It is the least that I can do. Um, Kendra? What? Your father never quite told me. What did... What, what did he study? He no. always changed the subject whenever I brought it up. He studied many things, but like you, he never fully divulged in it. As uh, as you guys are going back and forth with this, there's a uh, the knock at the door. It is Kendra goes and answers it. <clears throat> it's Councilman Her uh, Hearthmouth again. <clears throat> and tucked under his arm, he's got a sealed scroll case. Ah, good, good. You're all gathered here. We can get this underway. Which, uh... What? I did manage to get. Do you, do you live in this house, good sir? What? what? No. Yeah, I just thought it was strange you just walked right into the lounge. The mistress of the house is here and you just... It just kind of showed up. I, that was unexpected. 
What, what do you mean, unexpected? I announced I would be doing the reading here. I, you could knock. <laughs> People usually I, knock when they enter. Did, did I cut out? Because like, I did explain he knocked and then Kendra went to go answer the door and everything. I think that cut out. Uh, yeah, I didn't, oh, yeah I didn't hear that. Oh, okay. That's a that's a that's a lot of cut out then. Yeah, no, no. He, there was a knock at the door, and Kendra went to go answer it. As Ashy okay. and Hearthmouth <laughs> steps in with a scroll case under his arm. I think gotcha. it picked up right after the scroll case. Yeah, gotcha. scroll case. We heard. Interesting. Yeah, no, this guy's kind of slimy looking. A little bit sus. Oh yeah, it's totally suspicious of this guy. Ew. I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, what is it, uh, Pocahontas vibes. Yeah. You're right? Very. <laughs> Does he have a little dog? She looks like we're looking for a pug on the floor. Yes. There is a pug right at his heel. Oh my god. Does the pug look smart? Uh, I it looks like a pug. <laughs> I mean, it must be a Bones Day. It's probably Bones Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> So, so who knows the TikTok? Sorry. Sir Petrus Lorimer asked me to give this reading once everyone had gathered here. As you can see, he holds out the scroll case. His seal is still on here. Uh, I, nor, nor anybody else, have seen what is contained. With that, he goes to break the seal and pulls the lid off the scroll case. And as a scrolled parchment slides out, a small iron key clatters onto the table before him. Uh -huh. He pays the key no mind as he begins unfurling the, uh, the scroll. I'm gonna immediately try to pick it up. Sure. Is it too heavy? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's as big as you are. It's like a sword key. Oh, my goodness. Yes! This is... <laughs> okay. Now that I've got you all here, let's get to reading this. He kind of glances over it a little bit. All right. It is with solemn conviction that I... Petrus Lorimore, being of sound mind, do hereby commit to this parchment my last will and testament. Let it be known that with the exception of the specific details below, I leave my home and personal belongings to my daughter Kendra. Use them or sell them as you see fit, my child. Let me go ahead and just give all this in case you guys missed it, because you guys do have a system. Ooh. Yet, beyond the bequeathing of my personal effects, this document must serve other needs. I have arranged for the reading of this document to be delayed until all principles can be in attendance, for I have more than mere inheritance to apportion. I have two final favors to ask. To my dear friend, Provinza Bramblefar, it has been an utmost pleasure to spend these last few years as your friend and mentor. You've grown strong and surrounded yourself with stalwart allies that I have no doubt will see you through any trial. It is my deepest regret that I shall not live to see you achieve your full potential as a scholar of the mystic. I have always been cryptic about my profession, for fear of dragging you into things which you were not ready to face. But now, all must be laid bare. I have devoted most of my studies to all manner of evil that I might know the enemy and inform those better positioned to stand against it. For knowledge of one's enemy is the surest path to victory against its, over its plans. And so, over the course of my lifetime, I have seen fit to acquire a significant collection of valuable but dangerous tomes, any one of which, in the wrong circumstances, could have led to an awkward legal situation. While the majority of these tomes remain safe under lock and key at the Lebedstadt University, I fear that a few I have bothered, borrowed remain in a trunk in my Ravengro home. While invaluable for my work in life, in death, 
I would prefer not to burden my daughter with the darker side of my profession, or worse still, the danger of possessing these tomes herself. I ask that you please deliver the collection of, to my colleagues at the University of Lepidstadt, who will put them to good use for the betterment of the cause. Hearthmouth kind of <clears throat> clears his throat before reaching down and taking a drink. Yet, before you leave for Lepidstadt, there is the matter of another favor. Please delay your journey one month and spend that period of time here in Ravengro, that you and your allies may ensure that my daughter is safe and sound. She has no one to count on now that I am gone, and if you would aid her in setting things in order for whatever she desires over the course of this month, you would have my eternal gratitude. From my savings, I have also willed Provincia Gra Gra Bramblefog, Andreas Zalkar, Salix Wellahart, and Zaven Ridstrider, each 100 platinum coins. For safekeeping, I have left these funds with Embreth Daramid, one of my most trusted friends in Levitstadt. She has been instructed to issue this payment upon the safe delivery of the borrowed tomes no sooner than one month after the date of reading this will. I, Petros Lyramore, hereby sign this will in Ravengro on this first day of Calistril in the year of 4710 AR. You think for yourself to yourselves, 4710 AR, that's that's this year. This is a very recent will. I mean I, I did call it for the record. <laughs> <sighs> Wish that I was so lucky. <laughs> Ken Kendra, I I know we haven't quite really said this yet, but we're sorry for your loss. <laughs> As a uh, councilman Hearthmouth goes and furls the will back up and puts it into the scroll case, he gives each of you a like a look down his nose. It appears the professor took great interest in your friends, Provinza. They're good people. They do good things, though. We're a bit of a interesting combination. Don't count us out of anything. <laughs> Very well. You'll be staying here for a month to clean up this mess. I hope that none of you intend to cause problems. Hey, I don't cause problems. Problems just come to me naturally. It's fine. I would like to say that my friends here, they tried many times to, to de-escalate the situation, but rowdy folk are rowdy folk. Like, what choice did we have? They come at us. We did nothing wrong. Be that as it may, there are currently no charges levied against you. We'll leave it at that. Or self-defense and <laughs> defending the rights of a proper burial. We didn't kill anybody. Yep. Uh, would yep. there be charges against us for that? Probably. Oh, why would there be? We just did... Why would there be charges sure. against you for bludgeoning my people? Uh, You're the people who attacked us when we refused to put a coffin down. Like, there were there were six of them and four of us, first off. Very unfair odds <laughs> for them. <laughs> but that is besides the point. They, we asked them, hey, you do not want this. <laughs> My buddy, he's out, he has a gun, boom, boom. Like maybe you have not seen one before in Ustalov, I do not know, but uh, it, hurt, it hurts a lot to shoot you in the leg. It's a lot of pain. They still came. They still came. She ripped us, she lighted them on fire. They still come. Like, what are we supposed to do? They are the aggressors, and, and that is not our fault. That's not our fault. <clears throat> And as I said, there are no charges. 
I don't Did understand you set what them this on argument us? is. Is is that what you're saying? That they're your people that you sent them? And at this point, Alex is advancing on him. He gives you a look of disgust. She's giving him much the same look, except she's stepped closer now. Kendra, from his, from his huge Kendra, like, lo- look, Miss Kendra, waist. please mind yourself amongst these vagrants. They seem to not know their place. I bid you all a good day. He uh, gives a turn and still nose in the air, walks out the door. He is a very. He's not up there. I hope he lives forever. He's a he's a rude man. Hey hey buddy, you got some snot up there. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, for right. this, uh, you should probably ride that dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know- as as he's marching out, the little pug is like running circles around his heels, and it like. It's running toward the door. It's its face turned, looking at the rest of you. It slams into like the, the, the frame of the door before <laughs> scrambling out. Zalix wants to make an attempt to get the dog to come to her, and I want to use um. <laughs> Are you using a spell Wait. on this? I want to use my. It's not a spell. I don't think it's a spell. Um. My wild empathy. Hmm. Is a pug like a wolf? I can talk to wolves. They're just dumb <laughs> wolves, right? How do I share this? <sighs> Click on the details in your. Uh... Like that? Yeah. I don't think I have diplomacy either, but I'll try. Hey. Y- Puppy, you should stay here with us. My friend Provinza, she's real nice. <laughs> I am dif- I am playing trained in diplomacy. That's hey. crazy. Oh my god. <clears throat> Do we have a party dog now? It uh as it as it like it slams its face into the fucking frame of the door again. It stops, looks at you. You see it like its eyes meet your eye before you watch as its eyes cross and it scrambles out the door. Not a very intelligent uh, animal. Probably hit his head one too many times. I don't think they have to be intelligent for me to talk to them. No, decision making wise. I turn you know, to look at Kendra while they're discussing the dog. <laughs> it's a I think the dog's going to die soon. Oops. It, oh. it appears that uh, your father does have some dark mystical tomes here within the house. I, I suppose you're right. As I said, he never let me into his study, though. Provinza, you, you got that key. Yeah. I think she's just like holding on to it, like really, like holding it very close I, to her chest. I must confess, I have. Some small concerns that in, in the statement he said that there is danger of possessing them. Uh, usually no, knowledge happen? knowledge is not very dangerous unless it is perhaps enchanted with dark mystical rituals designed to bind your soul to eternal darkness. Or, he did say that he was um, studying all things evil so that first. he could combat them. And so. James, that sounds frighteningly like, specific. Like, First. I am well versed in curses. I have made a lifetime studying curses. I, I had occultism. That is my specialty, in fact. So he <laughs> should probably be the one to read these books, Provenza. If anybody's going to read them. Just just a thought. Perhaps maybe we just verify they're in the study and leave them in the study until we have come time to depart you, at the water. You would let such knowledge languish in our hands? We have a month in which to study. We could learn so many things, my friend. Or we could cause trouble. Uh, uh, we might want to keep it on our person uh, 
no maybe, offense. Maybe we, what we do is we check and see if perhaps they are bound with arcane magic that will turn your insides into your outsides. And if not, uh, maybe we take our <laughs> I would prefer my Whatever insides to stay my insides unless I'm going to die. In which case, today, I'm in for that. Oh, God. <sighs> that lucky dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you whisper about what could be inside that uh, that study, Kendra leads you down the hallway to where uh, Petrus's study was, and you pr you produce the key. And before we go in here, I'm gonna go ahead and let us take fifteen. Let things let some of this information right. digest, and we'll be back in about fifteen minutes. Huzzah! Break time. We were. We were moving toward the uh, the locked study, key in hand. Yeah. Ravensa, would you do the honor? Key, key <laughs> double hands. <laughs> How big is this key in comparison to her? It's a fairly like small, like size. house key. So it's like half her size. <laughs> Zalex offers to fashion it into a sword for Provenza. <laughs> you see, that's tempting. Um, but how about we use it first? <laughs> I think she's so Provenza has a minus one modifier to strength. Um, I think she's gonna try to hold it up to put it into the hole, and just like immediately, like she's flying midair, and she's just like. Of her weight just like gives out. She's like, <laughs> could maybe somebody else do the honors? I'll, I'll hold on to it so I feel special. Zalek supports Provenza. <laughs> do not, do not give up so easily, Provenza. You, uh, this is how wings work. You must exercise them. I've been asking you for workouts for weeks, and you haven't told me anything that's useful for my body I, mass. I, I do not know how to work out the wing muscles. I don't. I do not have the, the wings. I can give you some glorious biceps, though, if that is what you want. Yes, we can. Oh, <laughs> lots of curling. Yes, many squats. Yes, but rings. Uh, flap them a lot. Uh, wing curls. Put the weights <laughs> on your wings. The wings with the weights on it. That would make them stronger, I think. So, so here's the thing with that. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> just like a look. I'm like, can you please open the door? <laughs> so Alex helps her open the door. <clears throat> okay. So. The door opens, and you come into a small room. No windows. On the far side sits a wide tapestry, wall to wall, depicting different constellations. And on the constellations, you see various different notes stuck to the wall. <clears throat> a shelf with all manner of different books, and strange sculptures. A desk cluttered with different notes and books, and a globe sitting on it. And you see, just behind the desk, a small trunk. I'm gonna take a look at the globe while everybody else probably goes to investigate the trunk. As Alex points, <laughs> is there Andreas anything marked to on the, the trunk? globe as far as locations or anything? On the globe itself, no. What Here. books are on the desk? <clears throat> uh, on the desk itself, you see various... Uh, look like magical theory on uh, like the arcane, a study of the planes. Uh, and... Are these... Uh... These books are included? Or only the ones in the trunk? I am not so Just sure. the ones in the trunk. I don't understand how Death Day gifts work. 
Just the ones in the trunk that we gotta take to the school. Yeah, as you're looking across, like, the books on the shelf, the books that are strewn across the desk, a lot of them look rather mundane. Well, as mundane as a magical theory book can be. Of course, of course. Is there any just, like, book books? Like, uh... I don't know, novels? Uh, no, a lot of, a lot of, like, you don't see any novels in here, but the shelves that are out in the lounge had plenty of them. Yeah, spicy kobold romance books. Mm. Yeah, that's what she's <laughs> looking for. <laughs> Gob squad, sorry. <laughs> Chaos Take kobold crew. Over to the trunk, and cautiously, I, I want to inspect the trunk, like, you know, he said these books are dark, they're dangerous. I'm concerned there might be some sort of glyphs or warding or, sure. or traps on something, so I'd like to check that out uh, first. All right. Just to be safe. It looks clean. No, no apparent threats on there. So I'll kind of reach down and uh, try to open the trunk. So as you pull open the small trunk, it's it's got like it, it's got like belts across it. It's buckled down. You go to undo it, and within it sits a, a handful of books, tightly packed inside, and on top, a small leather journal, scratched into the cover, says "Read me" in common. This is strange, but I, I hold the book up to everyone. There is a journal that that wants guy is gone, right? It. Oh yeah, the councilman is long gone. Okay, and she ushers whoever's like, is anybody hanging by the door? Has the daughter followed us? Uh, yeah, Kendra's there with you. She like gets anybody who's in the doorway out of the doorway and shuts the door behind them and locks it. Okay. I'll open up the journal to read it to everyone. Gotcha. Uh, I'm, I have a thing to show you, Sabea. A handout that only Very you can well. see. Very well. As you're, as you're flipping through there, you find a number of entries that have been circled in a bold red ink. Are you able to see that? Uh, yeah, I can see it. Sweet. Like, there are there are many notes within the, the journal here. Uh, there's an interesting one about chicken soup. I think that was a scratch mark. But uh, uh, starting from the the beginning, ah, uh, there are some that are highlighted in red. Yes, uh, about ten years ago, he speaks about some group called the Whispering Way. Uh, Something about them being uh, a cabal of necromancers, but more powerful, yes, undeath, their fountain of youth. Uh, he seeks to uncover their motivation. He wants to study a little bit more. But uh, it says their desire to be internal simply makes them more dangerous. I think this might be up your alley, Zaven. You, you like to want the undead? They might be necromancers. Uh... Not a lot going on for the next 10 years, I must say. Some some notes, some scratches, uh, nothing highlighted, though. So apparently he took a nap and maybe decided he would not investigate this color ball of necromancers for, for 10 years. But then, also, uh, two months ago, uh, he had a great discovery. Uh, it is as I had feared. The way is interested in something here in Lavengro. But what could it be? Uh, he does not say here. Let's uh, skip a few more pages ahead. <laughs> Perhaps he has discovered it. Uh, oh, yes. Here, a month ago, this one is, is highlighted. Uh, whatever the way sinks, I am now convinced their goal is connected to Arrowstone. Uh, in retrospect, uh, he thinks that makes sense. Yeah, the stories tell that the ruins... Oh, there's ruins here. Uh, the ruins uh, are chilling enough. 
Uh, he wants to investigate them, but everyone in town, they're very worked up. They do not like this idea, I, I see. Uh, he doesn't want to tell anyone. He is worried. Uh, people will think he's a demonologist. He got that the wrong day. I thought he was a necromancer, but... <laughs> But he, he calls them ignorant fools, and that is correct, because he was, he was he was neither a necromancer nor a demonologist. So they, they were they were not the smartest of folks. Uh well, 20 days ago, uh it confirmed they were quite interested in something. No, no. Strike that. He was he's not very precise with words. Uh someone. Someone who is held in Hello Stone. But oh, uh the way he does not know. Uh, he wants a list of everyone who died in a fire. Perhaps this is Pervinza's alley. Uh, Arson, perhaps. Somebody died. They were burned to death. Uh, everyone. Everyone. He says every single person. That's underlined twice. So it's it's very <laughs> important. Everyone that died in this fire. Uh, he believes the Temple of Phrasma has a list of those people. Uh, doesn't speak about consent to get the list. This is a, this is a theme here. Uh, oh, 18 <laughs> days ago. This is just two days before he died. The journal is... We're near the end now. We'll be getting there, my friends. Uh, I will read this. Uh, I see now uh, how... Andreas? Yes, I can... Gotta yes, be Andrea. honest with you, you're talking way too fast. <laughs> Oh, I am. I am sorry. Uh, I will slow down for you. I shall use small words for your small, small body. My, yeah, my <laughs> brain is a lot smaller than yours, so small words. Yes. Small yes. speed. Well, eighteen days ago. Uh huh. What about twenty days ago? What happened uh, then? Twenty days ago, uh, someone was in Harrowstone. He does not know who though. Um. Uh, he believes that this whispering way is after them. Uh, he wants a list of everyone who died in the fire. Everyone. That's underlined twice. Yes? Okay. Everyone. That means a lot of people. Uh, he believes for the temple of Phrasma has the list of people that died. That makes a lot of sense. They, he's going... I don't know. I, I don't know if he goes there. He does not mention uh, perhaps he did. He did not write about it, though. Uh, maybe he did not get consent. I don't know. You always gotta ask. You okay. said 18 days ago what? Now, 18 days ago, it looks like he went to Harrowstone. He says he was very, very ill-prepared. Uh, he was lucky to have returned at all. The ghosts... Oh, ghosts. If indeed they were the ghosts. For he did not find it prudent investigate more uh prevented him from transcribing the strange symbols he found on the foundation so there are some glyphs there perhaps maybe a curse uh we will find out perhaps i feel we might go here uh hopefully on his next visit he will be more prepared he does not say uh Let's see. Thankfully, uh, the tools to defend against the spirits are here. Yes, they are here in this town, Ravengo. They have uh, the ability to fight the ghosts. Uh, not sure why they were scared of a necromancer if they have that, but they they do. He says they do at the Church of Phrasma in a false crypt in the last lands at a oh. intersection between Eversleep and the Black Path. I don't know if these words mean something to you. I will repeat, yes? False Please. clip. False clip. In the last lands. At intersection. Of Eversleep. And the, the Black Path. Yes, do you, you have that, my tiny friend? No. <laughs> I do. Uh, you would know that Restlan is the name of the, the graveyard, and those two paths that says intersect are two of the paths that work their way through the graveyard. Mm. Yes, so there is, there is a boss uh, crypt there where Prolasma stores materials to fight ghosts, perhaps. In your graveyard. Prevention. I don't know why you would store it in the graveyard. It feels like if 
the ghost came alive, you would have to then go through the ghost to get the ghost fighting equipment. But I digress. Uh, oh, I understand now. Yes, it says uh, he doesn't think the current church even knows that they have hidden that there. That is silly. They have bad records, I guess. Uh, if his luck holds, he wants to slip into the crypt and take a bunch of items. Uh, I guess his luck did not hold. He died two more days. Oh, there's one more entry. One more entry. Uh, right before he died. Uh, it says tomorrow evening. That was the day he died. Uh, if you're following. Uh, he returns to the prison. Uh, first mention of a prison. Not sure what that is. Uh, imperative the way does not finish. So necromancers, they were active at least 17 days ago. Uh, my caution has already cost me too much time. Yes, he waited 10 years. Uh, I am not sure what will happen if I am too late. But if my theory is right, the entire town could be at risk. Uh, I do not have time to update my will. Uh, so I'll leave this in the test where it will be sure to be found should the worst come to pass, which it did because he died. That's the last entry, actually, because uh, because he died. And those of you that have been around for a while know that Harrow Stone is the ruined prison just outside of Robin Grove. Okay. So, uh, Andreas, can I see that? She has to see that journal. Of course. Friend, I have never seen you interested in reading before. I thought perhaps it strained your eye too much. I hand the journal over. So she takes a look at it just to see if there's anything else she can get uh, more detail on. Uh, if you're if you're flipping through it, aside from the. Uh, circled entries it's <clears throat> pretty much a a like day-to-day -day journal kind of covering some his, his uh hunt after the whispering way not much in there is very important maybe some theories or like conspiracies he's been chasing after in the nearby towns would i can i do like a recall knowledge on the whispering way to see if my character through my studying, you know, I know I have religion and a culture. Sure. Or, G or give me a religion. Skills. And, uh, Zaven, but you give me a religion as well when you hear that noise, that, that name. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. I'm not, I'm not trained in religion. Do it anyway, go. you got a bonus. Hey, I don't know what my bullet and bonus is, but I'll roll it. Boom. Does uh does it say anything about whether or not he removed the tools to fight ghosts? It does not. All right, I got I got an eighteen without a bonus. I don't know what the bonus is yeah. though. So, in in your you've been traveling around hunting down undead and necromancers and putting things down, doing your duty as a champion of Phrasma, you know. And in your travels, you've heard the whispering way you mentioned more than a few times. And you recognize them to be a group of necromancers that seek to tap into the power of the Whispering Tyrant. Oh. 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 Uh. Okay. I have no idea what that means, because I'm not versed in Valerian lore. So, the Whispering right. Tyrant... Is he's a super powerful megalith. That's... Yeah. It's yeah, this world's Vecna. Exactly. Yeah. All right. He, he's the reason that Ustalov is a destroyed, cursed nation. Okay, all right. So, um, let's see. How do I play this across? Yes, Vela, the Whispering Ve. Yes. That group could spell doom for all of Ustalov. Let's just put that... Uh, they are trying to gain the powers of the one that destroyed the land. If who, who was that? What's the name of the lich? We would know, right? Tarbathon. Tarbathon? Or with the dash. I, I look at uh, Kendra, the, the daughter. Like It appears that your father stumbled on something more dark 
isn't evil, then just mere research could prevail. If a cabal of necromancers is in this town. Ah. You, you guys see kind of like this weird look come across Salix's face. Tarbophon. And she, like, scratches her eye patch and puts the book down. Hmm. Are, are the buttons itching you? I think you might have one too many. That or you didn't clean them properly before putting them in. I always offer to prestigate them clean, but you never take me up. The buttons are fine. Then, I... We know where to push the exact. button, anyways. Uh, um, he, he has mood strings, I don't know. I, uh, <laughs> always the pushing of the button. Uh, anyways, <laughs> moving along from this conversation, yes. So we, uh, in order to, our, our, our job here over month, yes, is to make sure that Kendra is settled and safe for the month while she determines what she wants to do. If a group of Nexomancers is in town, then I believe it falls into realm of favor to deal with this problem for Kendra's sake. Yes? Yes. I believe that we must deal with this problem for anyone's sake. We cannot leave a town, even one as misguided as this one, in the hands of such dark forces. Oh, I, I, My I, money I is on I that even... big, fat Pompous, gonna live forever, jerk. Live forever. Perhaps he is. Literally, the their goal is live he forever. Lives forever. On death. Is it really living if you're not alive? Well, as somebody who is a certified professional um, death oracle, he's gonna live forever. <laughs> like, I think that's how this works. Good. I hope he lives forever. I okay. That's <laughs> maybe not a best decision. But uh yes. He deserves it. That stinking <laughs> butt. Well well Zalex, uh sometimes people actually want to be alive. I know it's a really hard concept to maybe wrap your head around. Some people want to be alive. They're crazy. Those people are crazy. Anyways. While they're talking, I reach in and I pull out the uh, bound journals as well. So, no. the other books that were in there weren't journals? Uh, well, yeah. They were, um, yeah, various different other books. Uh -huh. The first one you pull out is a jet black book entitled On Verified Madness. Okay. Yeah, Black Book, Verified Madness? Yeah, On Verified Madness. Okay. The uh, next one is The Umbral Leaves. And it appears to be a translation to common of well yeah judging by the notes that are left uh, in it and like the leaf throughout it it's a translation of an unholy lexicon known as Zon Kuthan uh, which is a deity yeah anybody want to give me a religion check for that yeah, I'll, I'll cross that out. A little better that time. Yeah, so, got... yeah, what you have in your hands is the, the common translation of the unholy book of the god of, uh, the, the god of shadows, the, the midnight lord, Zon Kuthan. Gee, fetchlings know nothing about shadows. Uh, this yeah. one is promising, perhaps. I have been cursed well, with 
dark shadowy powers and a living chateau. Perhaps it has clues to save my daughter. Yeah, he's also known as the Prince of Pain, as he's he is the king of shadows, pain, and murders. Well, my chateau well, does all three of those. This is a pain. <laughs> this is, might be the clues I am looking for. I will have to study this one. And when we have some free time, after we defeat the Lecrobeters, try to raise people from the dead and kill everyone in the town, I, I read this one first, most likely. Did he say lepromancers? I'm where? So I keep where hearing... is your daughter? You said uh, she is back home with my wife and uh, my family, my mother and my father, uh, in the caravans in the east, traveling with the rest of my family. It is too dangerous to take a baby on a journey across Ustalov, hunting cursed items. I, at that, Zalex kind of winces. <laughs> I don't know, like, why would you take a baby? They would probably, they wouldn't survive the journey, most likely. Honestly, it doesn't seem like that bad of an probably idea not. to me. <laughs> and there are two more books in there. Alright. A text called Serving Your Hunger, which, flipping through, Details various rites and rituals in service to Urgothoa. Rangoose, for those of you watching. <laughs> I almost just threw my book down on the ground when you said that. <laughs> I need books about dark gods in here. And then the last um, one. On the last one? It doesn't have a title on it, but it's a leather-bound book that's been dyed purple, and there's a brass scarab set in the very center of it that seems to be holding the, the, the cover of the book together. On the shelf of the, of the scarab, you see a like triangular hole you think you might be able to fit a key in, but there's no key to be seen. Uh, I'm gonna try to pick the lock. <laughs> oh god. I'm, I'm trained in thievery. Oh, okay. Uh, so I, I kind of put the book on, on the desk and I'm like, uh, we will see if we can access this one. I, uh, well, first let me inspect and make sure no glyphs or wordings or traps. It's unusual to lock a book. I am a little suspicious. I shall I shall look and make sure that this will not kill us. Perhaps it has a burst of healing magic again. I do I don't I don't know. The scarab. That's... That would only kill you, I think. <laughs> you don't know that. Oh god. No, I really don't. <laughs> That's true. It uh You're not saying any any like countermeasures beyond the, the scarab lock. It's, I shall try to open this one now. Wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> <clears throat> As you're fiddling with it, uh, you suddenly hear a click come from it. Give me a reflex save. No oh, bad. <laughs> Zalek's ground. <laughs> My suspicions were true. <laughs> and runs the other side of the room. As you hear that click, the the legs on the scarab begin to skitter. As you push the book away from yourself, the legs stop skittering, and you can feel the, the lock reset. <laughs> We don't touch this one. I want to touch it. I want to see if I can get it. Okay, you can try. Maybe you have better luck. Uh, it's got to have some juicy knowledge inside it, I must say. <laughs> I am Why free. else would it be locked? Exactly, like, it Are is you very locked. Me it must be good. That the scarab book oh, is hugging you? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> 
out of ten. Yeah, you uh, you can't really make heads or tails of the the mechanism on this thing. I think I just look at it like stick my hand in through the hole. <laughs> just kind of <laughs> feel like, around in there. I was like, well, it's a locking mechanism. I can tell you that. Um, that's all I've got. I don't. I don't know anything else. I can't get it. But at least I tried. <laughs> Do you, any of you have dispel magic? No. I have spells to make people go boom. Oh, I... I, I Do any of the first level characters have dispel magic? Well, I, I mean, I have black powder. I could just Wait. blow up the book. And we well, you it. can open the locket. You... I have read aura. <laughs> no, that's not dispel magic. No. I know, but it, it's a thing. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Could I try to freeze the lock off, maybe? I didn't even prepare. Could I potentially magic. have it? Let's see. Hold on. I have freeze. Spell magic's a second I... level spell. Oh, so. second level. Okay. If I can freeze it off. <laughs> well, yeah. books aside, this one I, I put all the books back except the Umbral Leafs book. I put that one in my in my pouch for reading later. Like, wait, let me. We'll keep these here safe, but I think the bigger concern is it sounds from your father's journal that perhaps they were very close to completing what they wanted to do. That was 17 days ago, so not a lot of time. Right. So back to the graveyard then to find the uh, empty oh. or false script. I, if it's I still there. Should we ask to get he never made a mention of who he thought was being raised. I don't know if he ever went to the Temple of Razma uh, to get a list of people who died. I don't know if... Uh, how fast do we need to go? Should we get that list first or should we just go? I don't... I suggest we go so and get my, the my, weapons. My issue is he, perhaps if we start poking around and asking for list someone becomes suspicious and come after us before we can get items to help. True, right. true. I, get I items think... first and then get list. Yes, I think I, I agreed. We we get things to help us fight ghosts so that we do not get made ghosts and mm -hmm. and then I perhaps a ghost. But that's, yes, I, I agree. What he said. Yeah, I agree. Agreed. That we should go now the parade is uh is it how late how late in the day is it now is, uh, it, is it let's see after 10 it's <laughs> like not this clock says okay uh it probably be about three o'clock how how long does the day of the dead parade last would we know that you guys still have another week of oh, jewels. Oh. oh we can totally sneak into this graveyard with nobody being suspicious I mean, I live there. Kendra. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Kendra, will you come with us so that we can make sure that you're safe? Or you have the option to lock yourself in your home. I don't think they suspect you of anything that they, your father was researching. What if they burn it down, is the question. Well... Well, I, I'll be coming with you guys, so I don't think that's an issue. I would say we take the books, take the journal, and I would really prefer it if she came with us to keep her safe. So, so the problem is there's a trunk of books. Carrying around a trunk of books while trying to hunt necromancers and the undead, not the most convenient. You can't put them in your pack? Still a lot of books. Like well, we can split them up books. amongst us, right? Except for Vinza, of course. It's like, probably at least two we, books, What right? we really need is we need a big, strong individual other than our Mars Arcane <laughs> friend here. Uh, yeah, if only we had somebody who could lift things. Someone who, maybe yeah. someone with an axe. And an yeah. accent. <laughs> oh, would it have been great if an orphan showed up and they could carry things and and take blows. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a, yeah, a that would be really cool. Viking man. <laughs> uh, Somebody to, to, I don't know, 
be the the bulwark against all harm. <laughs> and the pack mule, nonetheless. Yeah, that'd be nice. I wonder if we'll find someone. If we Probably find not. things that help us fight the ghost, we should grab enough for a fifth person, just in case we find the strong oh, We're taking one all of the stuff later. that fights ghosts. I don't care who else we're bringing it to, but we're <laughs> taking all of it. Yeah, someone, someone uh, with a beard. I, I, I'm feeling a beard and scars. Are you, are you guys putting out a vibe. Craigslist ad? A shield, a shield. <laughs> that would be great. A shield there and an axe. Do, anyone, do, do we know anyone with, named with the Craig that has the list? I don't know. Uh, well, I think I think that Andreas has the list, and I don't think his name is Craig. <laughs> do you have a list of Craigs, Andreas? I d- oh, so maybe the I... Craig. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe the Craigs are on the list of the guys who died in the fire. We gotta go you get want that to run to like Craig. Funnily enough, everybody on the list, is their first name is Craig. Jesus. <laughs> easier to believe it was the family name Craig, but no. We'll go with the first name because that's what we decided. Okay. Anyways. Listen. I think we should, we, time is of the essence, though. We should go to the graveyard now and uh, hope that there's no ghost guarding the ghost gear. Right. That'd be unfortunate. Yeah, it'll probably be fine. If it's like um, yeah. day. I, I just those. feel it's bad practice to put undead fighting gear in a cemetery where the undead would come from. Like, you know. All right. Here, my opinion. hand me a couple of the books. I'll put them in my pack. You take <laughs> a couple of the books, put them in your pack. And you take one of the books in the journal and put it in your pack. Is that all of them? Or we have one left? Should we take all the books? Yes, because if they burn down the house, they will burn the books down with them. I mean, we could just put them in my cave, couldn't we? Nobody's gonna books, check a cave. Books are a little, uh, they are okay. like babies, yes? You you don't take babies to battle, and sometimes you don't take books uh, to battle. No, but if- books are not like babies. She stuffs the books into her book bag. <laughs> <laughs> and Andreas is just Funny like books are super more really- offended, because he's just like, Books are part of his life, and he's he's like. I, I'm trying to figure out if I should give this card to Andreas now, or should if I should save it in case we get a fifth person with an axe. This card is very much not for. Are saving. we saving these cards? Do we get to keep them? No, yeah, they're they're redrawn at the start of every session. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess... we have to use them by the end of the session. Yeah. Oh. Like hero points, guys. I, I yeah. whisper to to. Uh, save in. She's going to break the spine just shoving the book in there like that. She starts shoving more into her book bag because nobody's oh listening. My God. What is she doing? You're going to hurt the books. Hey, we have to. Hey, 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 hey Zaven. Remember, uh, books are more valuable uh, than kids, so you gotta treat them with more respect than you would a kid. Okay? Books are more valuable than kids. <laughs> So she's shoving more books into her book bag as hard as she possibly can at this point. As long as we're on the same page about that. Because Alex is just angry. <laughs> Excellent. What does this say? I think we broke Baird. <laughs> you broke these books! <laughs> Why? Well, Book well, fashion. at least I have the umbral leaf safely tucked away in my backpack. <laughs> Zonkathon, I'm going to learn about you. Zonkathon, you're going to get learned about. Learned I will know. study the shit out of you. <laughs> I will pass a test with a 90% plus average on you. So Zalex looks over it once she's done stuffing the books into her bag because she um, does. Zalex, as you're as you're stuffing the books away, uh, you happen to grab that black book that uh, that Andreas set aside. Uh huh. Who said it was a uh, on verified the madness. madness. One? Yeah. So as, yeah. as you're like staring at the black book, uh, you you t- pause for a second looking at it, and uh, out of the corner of your eye, you swear you see the tapestry against the wall, you swear you see something staring at you from it. But when you look, you just see the, the constellations. 
do I know where whatever was staring at me was in the constellations? About the center of the tapestry, there's a part where the constell there there are like the constellations seem to go all around it, but there's a blank spot near the center of the tapestry where there's no stars. She looks back at the book. Does she get the creepy feeling again? Not like a direct unnerving feeling. <clears throat> but you can't shake that something's kind of wrong. I think while everybody's loading stuff up, Perpinsa just kind of naturally gravitates towards the uh, tapestry just because she's very fond Perv of uh, She grabs Perpinsa before she gets any closer. <laughs> Like, what? grabs her. Like, just grabs her out of the air. <laughs> what, what are you doing? I... Wait, stop. Wait, 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 wait. No, what? don't put her in your bag like a book. No, I'm no, not... wait. Wait, something's in there. You have to ask before you can grab me. We've been Listen, over this. But something's in there. I don't want it to hurt you. Okay, then I'll go. You what? So... Out of if you think something's in what? there, I'll go what? in. Whatever. No, 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 no. No. You can't die until I die. <laughs> what? Which hey, I never told my own oracle. It's fine if I die today. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, Zaven, I do not have a uh, comprehensive knowledge of the, the constellations. How can dare. you? Can you just detect aura on? that tapestry in the middle because I think something uh, yeah. was watching me. Yeah, can I cast re uh, Read Aura on it? Uh, well, yeah, sure. What is what is Read Aura to do? Um, that, how do I put it in the chat? Should be like a... Just click, click on icon. it? it will, yeah. Yeah, did I do it? Yeah, it's, it's detecting stuff. Um, focus on a target, opening your mind to perceive magical auras. Casting is complete if it's magical, or if there's any, uh, in the school of magic. And if it's illusory, I detect the effect. This is a cantrip level, so if it's a first level or lower, I will be able to detect that. Huh? Got a card? So... As you go to read aura on it, it's not, you're not getting any feeling of magic, but as you're focusing this, this divination spell on the tapestry, you find yourself, you find yourself making a will save. <laughs> nice. At least I'm an expert in those. Right. Definitely an expert in will saves. Definitely. 18. Okay. <clears throat> Can't quite put your finger on it. it. You're getting an aura from it, but it's not magical. Like, there's definitely a, like, magical-esque presence but it doesn't you're it doesn't recognize as like an actual school of magic mm -hmm. so if i open up this book the black book sure. and read it what does it say <laughs> so as you pop it open and flip through it it's uh you're immediately greeted by a rather in-depth drawing of various otherworldly creatures strange physiologies tentacles where they shouldn't be eyes where they shouldn't be like these are these are things that you would like uh, what a madman would dream up <clears throat> and as you're reading through oh, it it's yeah. got like notes on it looks like notes on aberrations and ties between the aberrations of galarian and something known as the dark tapestry What does it it's say a, about the dark tapestry? Before we get that, can I get some occultism checks? Occultism. Oh. I can, I From all do. of us, or just uh, 
It depends on how loud Alex is reading. <laughs> I think not very loud. Having just been grabbed, I think that might be a fair roll to make. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> use a hero point on that. Ooh. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so I have, a, I have a question. Uh, I know that in your other Jesus. games, you allow us to apply effort. Was that something you said? What? Or am I losing my mind? Probably losing my mind. I'm reading about old gods, so clearly just losing yeah. it. Can't. <laughs> How many times can we use hero can I points on things? Mm. Oh, you just got a 16. No, I, I, no Zabin got Zabin. a 16. Oh, Z ah. Normally, you can only use one fortune effect, but uh, if you guys want to keep throwing cards at me, no problem. I'll, I'll, I'll take whatever you don't want. Is this going to be perception <laughs> checks all over again? Probably. Well, the back to... Oh, Probably. golly. Oh, God. <laughs> we were Wee! Doing perception oh, that's a little bit better. Like... Alex, the I, book not... itself seems to be like... It doesn't go in depth onto what the dark tapestry is, but between some of the notes referring to the dark tapestry and connections between these creatures and said dark tapestry, you you put two and two together with uh, some of the stories you may have heard or some of the other studies you've done. The dark tapestry is a void that sits beyond the stars. And many horrific creatures are said to come from the dark tapestry as you're getting lost in this book can you give me a will save Oof. I, I like that number uh. <laughs> and as you're glancing through the book you Flip over to a page of an am amorphous, like, flesh creature covered in eyes and mouths. As you're looking at it, the mouths begin moving as words begin to fill your head and repeats echoing through your through your mind. Chikuth, Chikuth, Chikuth. And as... You're just fixated on this this mass of mouths and eyes as it continues to utter Chikus, Chikus, Chikus. And Nobody she starts else is repeating Chikus. Alex is just staring at the book. Chikus. Could have muttering, that book with more respect. She's muttering to herself Chikus, Chikus, Chikus. Anyways, we, aren't we supposed to be going to the graveyard, yes? Chikus, Chikus. I, Chikus. I, I, I go up to Zalx and I'm just like, Zelf. You do not usually care about books so much. It, I, I, and I look at the book to see if it's just saying Chikuth, Chikuth, like over and over again. Like. <laughs> and no, it's, it's just a still picture of an amorphous creature with many mouths. But there's not even any words in this book here. And I look at her again. She's still muttering it. <laughs> I, I hey, suspect hey, maybe hey. something's going on. I slap the book out of her hand. Can I As... go over like look over a little bonk on the head with my little twigs <laughs> stuff? <laughs> the stick. Yep. The you you slap the book stuff. out of her hand and Provinza gives little... her a bonk and <laughs> Zalex, you come too. What the hell? <laughs> you you disrespected the books and uh, the books they fight the back. Sorry. She picks up the book again and looks at it. <laughs> The hell bunk. Just slap the book out of her hand again. I take the book, <laughs> I close it, I like wrap it up again. She takes the book the from him. <laughs> he refuses to let it go. Uh, she stuffs it in the book bag though and is like, alright, alright. No, you have never And then she goes over before. to the tapestry and like pulls the tapestry back from the wall. Behind it is a wooden wall just a regular wall nothing yeah. there nope nothing okay. behind it all right she takes the tapestry with her <laughs> <laughs> oh all you right. could use this as reference for the one that you're making with the buttons that i'm giving you you're right 
stuff sit in our book bag with the yeah. books. So you 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 go and take the uh, the tapestry off the wall, fold it up, stuff in your bag. Yeah, it's a tapestry with a pretty accurate uh, what depiction. What book of... are you carrying? A lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot. A gnome. <laughs> I'm so curious to know what this number is now. A lot. <clears throat> At least. How much two. bulk are the books? Um, I'd say with like if all, like the books you gathered up, I'm gonna say like two bulk. Okay. Uh... That's as much as Provinza can carry. <laughs> The tapestry's just got like an accurate depiction of various constellations throughout different moons, like different seasons. Hey, you might be able to use it as like a star map if you ever get lost. Are we ready to to go? We have spent a lot of time on on this. I I think yeah, we need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get to this graveyard and punch some ghosts. Oh, well, oh, can we? Not punch. Hit them wait, with wait, a wait. stick. Explode real, them. Real Explode quick. Explode them. Hey, Kendra, can we take this tapestry? Um. We'll, we'll bring it back. Pinky promise. If you think you need it for your studies and following this this lead you seem to have found, I see no reason to turn you down. It seems like it could be worth something. As long as you're not trying to take it to the... <laughs> to get it bond. No. No. I no. have no plans to sell it. We are going to do our best to take care of you. Stop whoever maybe killed your father from killing more people. And then we will come back. Uh, oh, we did not discuss that. Uh, the will says to stay 30 days uh, to take care of you. Uh, do we have rooms here? Do... Should we stay in town at the inn? Thirty days. That's a, I don't understand. You're you're welcome to stay here in the estate. Very well. Well then, we we will come here, and you will know if we sold the tapestry. You would find out. But we are not <laughs> bad people. We are good people. We are not thieves. No matter what you have heard about my people, the Lilithians are not thieves. And I make sure I put my thief tools. <laughs> deeper in my pouch for my lock fix. Excellent. <sighs> We're not here despite, to steal from you. We're here despite to... Despite what the big man said, we are not vagrants. Hey. I am Uslavian Valisian, born and raised. I may be a vagrant at this point, but I, I, I have no ill human, intent with you. But I am, I am human through and through. I swear is it? I it all I know. I am human. Yes. <laughs> Zaven just shakes his head. Not even gonna comment. It's like <laughs> point. Uh, the tapestry. I think. I think it could help us possibly with that book. Something about it interacted with the book. You think the book? And the tapestry, they are cursed? I think they may be linked some way. I'm not sure. Well, I got a weird a curse, feeling from the tapestry. That was the deal. If it's a curse, you have to tell me. That's that's the law. That's if the, it's that's... a curse, I will let you know. But as far as I know, I just I, I think that it just interacted with it strangely. Well, I suggest you do not read that book anymore till we can, uh, yeah, we probably, can learn more. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Do not, do not study strange books, Dalx. You only have one eye. You can't give there as was, much attention to detail There was this as thing others. in the book that totally looked like a Ross monster, but it had a towel pad. I don't know. It looked to me like it had a bunch of eyes, and then you became obsessed. Maybe no, 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 no. That was a different page. Inadequacy. You were like... It has thirty-seven eyes. I have, I have one. Ah. I mean, but don't you? Never mind. Let's not go there. <laughs> you Excellent. Can probably borrow one Let's of the go eyes get our. Them. 
list listen we just we need to go get the ghost fighting utensils and please 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 let's take let's take kendra with us just to be sure hey kendra just because we've not like really ever talked that much do you know any magic or anything by chance? I just want to make sure that... Because you're not going to die today. I'm going to make sure of that. You're not going to die today. <laughs> so the stars are telling me. Okay, huh. just to be, if but just you to be see, sure. Just she to says be you're sure. Not gonna you die. need to defend yourself if you need to. We won't I, let you die today. I mean, I've studied some divination magic, but I'm, I'm no fighter. As long oh, as you're yeah. able to defend yourself, you're not, yes. I'm not asking you to to put yourself out there. I'm just like, kind of got to make sure you don't die. Because yes. like I said, um, you weren't dying today. Stand in the back. We will keep you safe. You divine things. Provinza said you are not going to die today. You are going to be just okay. Uh, I guess you might not be okay. You could be horribly burned or, or maimed or disfigured, but you will not die. Her power is extended to death. It, it's I mostly think this would be a really good chance for us to go. I won't let you get maimed. Hmm. I look at her eye patch so she says that. Hey, I just hey, look at I it. Cut my <laughs> own eyeball out, okay? This uh, is not I a see. tale I have heard before. This is not the time. This is not the time. No, we are getting distracted. We have to go find the ghost. With the... We have okay, to find so the ghost. You're the only one who's getting distracted right now. Besides, it's clear that her father also cut out his own eye. And, you know, we just happened to bro down that way. Let, let's go get this. Let's go get the stuff. Oh, I wonder if they have something small. Oh, God. Our entire party has ADHD. That's just Dave and Dean. That's just how back the tabletop doing. RPGs go. How, how am I following these people around? <laughs> you chose yeah, to be anything. the brooding silent yeah. person. You're just like, this is... Oh my god. Are crazy. Uh, I'm just going to shoot the undead. Let's let's go. <laughs> you get plenty you know, of opportunities for that. We're going to go chase necromancers. Yeah, you know yeah. we're going to find the undead eventually. That's why you're following us around. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. You get to kill the undead once we find them. Also a plus. <laughs> See? Perfect. Benefits. Alright, back to the graveyard. Okay. Go back home. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Excellent. So, if you head back to the graveyard via the restlands. Yes. That what, makes sense. What is your your plan? Are you just gonna hunt down the uh, place? So we're going to Everest, the intersection grave. Everest and the dark path. Yeah, the grave that's there, or the okay. closest one to there. And if we need a distraction, I can do a fun thing to get a distraction, so nobody sees us. Are you going to set a house on fire? I will not bring fire into the equation. That only happens on accident. Okay. I can I can do a really fun thing where I can kind of make an illusion of like a lot of people shouting or like really loud noises. Um, so if we need a distraction, I can do that and we can get them away from the area to give us some clearance. Okay. So this is, of course, referring to the cantrip ghost sound. Hmm. Ghosts, you say? It's just called ghost sound. <laughs> it's I can't create intelligible words or other intricate sounds, but I can create uh, sounds that has maximum volume equal to four normal humans shouting. Gotcha. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Just putting that out there. Spooky cemetery music. Game uh, on. Game on. <clears throat> Already on, Wayne. 
So you head back to the cemetery and you set straight for <clears throat> the location that's been marked out for false Yeah, on the path between Eversleep and the Black Path. Yeah. 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 Notes. And I, I guess as as we get there, we'll kind of search around for a crypt or something, something that looks yeah. out of the ordinary. I'm sure, there's a lot of crypts here, but you want perception? Yeah. Oh no, no! Take away that pop up. Okay. <laughs> Put that pop up away. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Hmm. Hey. See anything? Nothing is happening here. I think I find a button on the ground, maybe. Zalk's Dal got one eye <laughs> over here, just like, yeah, I laser focus. <laughs> yeah, I think Provincial just like thinks she sees a button on the ground somewhere, so she's just staring at the ground for a solid like three or four minutes. You're looking back at your home, like, mm, I live a couple blocks from here. I never knew this street was <laughs> over here. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oops. All right. So we got this perceptions. Point five. So Alex was really paying attention to where they were supposed to be going. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's rolling. For I can't be good. I, I can't be good. What the hell's gonna happen? It was nice knowing you guys. A heal spell is uh, about to go off. Great. I mean, I do have the heightened spell. Is it that Just damn get book? Out Just get out of the way, Andreas, and you'll be fine. Uh, I think we rested long enough for me to have another <laughs> good parry. Get your focus point back? Yeah. I have two of them, so I don't know if we right. rested that long, but you guys, at least you one. You time to, to chill long enough in the, in the lounge. <clears throat> so, oh, God. Searching around the uh, the markation, find a small entrance to a mausoleum with a gargoyle standing above the doorway. <clears throat> From the directions on the journal, this looks to be the, the, the place. How many people are are around or in the area that might? take issue with us going into a random mausoleum uh at the moment it's it's kind of like early sunset or early evening but um there's not very many people in this part of the uh cemetery you've gotten some like looks as you were walking through but with the the festivities going on nobody's really paid you too much mind does that gargoyle look like a gargoyle that is about to attack us or could potentially attack us? It is a gargoyle. Should I roll a nature check? Nature? Will that work? What? Or is it religion for gargoyles? I want to go up to the gargoyle and just poke it with my staff. Ow. <laughs> Save you a roll, maybe. Be like, oh, don't big do brother, that. big brother, hey. <laughs> um, no, my brother's dead. <laughs> it, I mean, it, give me a perception check. Is it... Another one? Oh, did you actually roll? I didn't see it. Yeah, it's a 25. 
Yeah, I did. No, that oh, was yeah, for... that's, that's, that's completely separate. One. That was the fine. Oh, okay. Another layers. one? Yeah. Gross. Yeah, it, it looks like a gargoyle. Hmm. It's uh, oh, yeah. sitting atop the uh, the crypt with like one claw raised and his jaw snarling. I I look around. Does, does you know? Does this crypt? I'm trying to see. Has it been recently disturbed? Like, does it look like the doors made like scraping marks? People have gone in. Sure. Like, can, can you give? Can I you just, give me a perception? I can. I like those perception rolls. Perception. Reception rolls oh, yeah. like five yes. checks. Andreas, as you're checking out the uh the, the crypt, you find on the doorway a busted lock hanging from the, the doorway to the mausoleum. This is sloppy the, work. <laughs> the the lock seems to have been melted away. <laughs> And put back in a way in a way that looks like it wouldn't be like it was barely even tampered with. But the metal's definitely been melted. Like someone has come this way with uh, the power to uh, quite frankly melt metal. That is interesting. I'm not sure what could have done that. Uh but it's pass. I do not know if that is the professor or if it was someone from uh, sooner than that, but somebody has come this way. This is most likely the right place. Is there traps? I, I don't see any. I think it's okay. Just a melted lock. Yeah, you guys haven't seen any traps on the sentry. I'm not sure I can pick a lock that's been melted. We might have to break it. She pulls out her crowbar. Well, like, the, the lock's placed in a way that looks like it's still intact, but no, the lock is but it's not, not functional I at just, all. I just take the lock off. Yeah. Or, and just, oh, okay. No. It looks like whoever so, melted it definitely put it back in a way to make it look like it was still fine, but it, okay. it doesn't uh, uh, protect the shit now. And then I open the door. All right. As you push the door open... You see a staircase before you descend down into, I would say into the darkness, but you have dark vision. <laughs> All color dark vision. I think most of us have dark oh. vision. Does Provenza have dark vision? No. I'm not sure, honestly. Because Alex does. I have low light vision. Okay. Which is definitely not the same thing, but it is still a thing. D she did. Did our friend accompany us, or did she stay home? Um, you guys really were insistent on her coming, so Kendra can help with you. Good, good, good. Uh, Kendra, can you see in the dark? Mm, no. Okay. Um, hang on to one of one of the three of us, and Provenza, you do as as well, just so that we. We'll, we'll look around a bit, and if it's okay, we will we will we will do a light. I think she's just Provence is gonna go sit on top of uh, Zaven's hat. Perfect. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Is like sit on the hat. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And Zalix would enter, looking looking for any kind of tripwires, traps. Should sure. I roll another oh, perception? Also, I mean, as the scout. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Use a thing. Or not. You know. As you do. She just walks in. As a... Why look before walking? Yeah. There's no, there's no need for that. Look. Uh, do you want me to go? Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll... Just barge it through as, as Zalx does. Just, you know, pushes Andreas out of the way and walks down. <laughs> He knows that I am the one who has armor, right? <laughs> uh, this is what happened and with I'm the commoners. He's helping, right? Yes, you, However, you scout, I take the hits, uh, Pervinsa, and Zox, they stay in the back. No, we got the door wrong. Zox is trying to die. <laughs> we got the door last time. They went to the front, commoners, boom, boom. Almost <laughs> like she's got a death wish. <laughs> hey, Matilla. Yo. For 
fun reasons. Ken, Provenza just have like a very tiny, uh, uh, high fantasy, uh, spray bottle that whenever Zell <laughs> <laughs> speaks, jokes about dying. <laughs> jokes about dying. It's just a little, oh, stop she's it. She's not joking. She's serious. I know. <laughs> you go ahead and slide Joe over here as you guys step down into the crypt. <laughs> Take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> Zach is in the chat. Were you here with Zach when we were <laughs> when we were calling for you? <laughs> oh, you know, there's a, there's a perfect per person to, to fit the Craigslist ad you guys are putting out for a Viking. That's right, Craigslist. Yes. Uh, At least for a Craig. Craig. For, this for asking for someone beefy with armor and hey. possibly an axe and a beard. Lots of fun it would be nice to have someone with these shields right now. Almost like a bulwark against damage. <laughs> but, alas, you know, I do not know if someone with a shield would be able to see in the darkness of this clip. So, probably not, I mean... I mean, someone could probably have watched us walk down into the crypt. I don't know. It's, like, pitch black in here, I assume. Yeah, it, it is. There's, there's no or, light. Yeah, so the light uh, coming from the uh, the doorway. Is it just what's me, name or, or, just... or or do those two <laughs> things on the side look like crossbows? I, uh, I, I... Provence is just fully sitting on top of uh, Zaven's hat. They look like statues holding swords. Those statues oh. look bad. <laughs> can <laughs> I can I look again for traps? Sure. Wait, so it is pitch black. Yeah, it is. If you don't have any like, if you have low light, you'll be able to see kinda. Okay. Because um, there's some light flooding in from the doorway you guys came down. Damn, okay. Is there traps? <laughs> Alright. Let me look at something in my inventory real quick. I have an inventory. Uh, you do not see any traps. However, you All do right. see a, sing a set of footprints about human size come down the stairs through this room to the door to the right and then return from the door to the right up the stairs. Okay. All right. Um, for the sake of Provinza and Kendra, since there is no immediate threat down here, I look at uh, at Andreas and I and call over to Zalex. Shield your eyes. And I'm gonna lie. Your eye. Just pulls the hat up a little bit. <laughs> slides her patch I just over. I my eyes and look away. I I go ahead and I light a torch and I toss it to the center of the room. Oh God. Oh, that does not affect my eyes. It, it looks the same to me. Our companion is. You didn't, you didn't show us any art of her, man. Oh no, are we simping again? Oh god. <laughs> Always. Every NPC. Please stop putting pretty NPCs in your games, Matilla. I wouldn't have this problem. Here, no, Matilla, hold up. Look I at got the you. token that you gave her. No, 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 no. Check this out. Hold up. Let me. Let me get this. You're, you'll you'll enjoy this. You'll like this. Oh no! Oh. This is gonna be bad. We're gonna die. Yeah. Replace her with a ghoul. Yep. It's coming. I Surprise. feel it. No. Nope. Nobody ever suspects the daughter. Nope. Oh, of course being not. Being a necromancer. Yep. She's gonna kill us. It was me all along. <laughs> we are after. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing y'all wanted to leave the books. <laughs> I come up to the store while you're doing that. And I just kind of walk in front of Zalx, and I'm like, me, please, me. let me take point on this one. What if there is something there that will that will maybe make Pervinsa cry if you get hurt? There. There is Kendra Lormar. <clears throat> this is also the NPC I was talking about, like, wow, there's a lot of fan art of her. Do you know why? why? <laughs> I understand why. I will be looking up fan art later. <laughs> okay. I will, I will not. Do we get to keep her for the rest of the game? Depending on no. things go, maybe. Oh god. I, I, uh, I opened this door. Oh no, she's red. That's gonna end badly for us, isn't it? <laughs> so the door yeah. opens without an issue. It is not that deep. Somebody AC. pick up the torch for the for Pervinza. Yeah, I'll go ahead and bring the torch with. 
Hey Kendra, are you coming? Oh, nope, I actually made a light on Kendra. That's the wrong no. color. Kendra's glowing in the sun. Everything's bright light to me, so it just looks normal to me. Yeah, I don't, actually, there's something weird with this uh, this map. For yeah, some reason, the light's not working. Fairly normal right now. Uh, someone close the door. Help. So, Should we close it? the stairway goes down into a larger chamber with a single sarcophagus. Uh, I suppose this is where they would keep the materials uh, to punch a ghost. Hold on a minute. Uh, maybe check for traps. As you if step I up to the sarcophagus and begin uh, thinking about traps, a, you hear a skittering. Oh, as God. Two massive centipedes rush out from behind the sarcophagus. Do they have hats on? Uh, one second, actually. <laughs> Hold up. You're right. You're absolutely they, right. I did this wrong. Tap, I gotta get the, I gotta get the fucking well-spoken centipedes. Yes! <laughs> well, I don't have to worry I, about intimidating so centipedes. Alright, okay. Kai, Kai has, uh, vetoed that I'm not allowed to display the the well-spoken centipede, since it hasn't been finished, art-wise. So, you'll have to it's deal with It's valid, Kai. Now. You're valid. <sighs> I'm sad. Uh, yeah, no, as, uh, as you move up to the sarcophagus, two massive centipedes rush out. Hope you like surprise rounds. Alright. Are no, we... Is I don't like surprise surprised? rounds. No. Yeah, everyone. You just stay back there. <laughs> Centipede. 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 Oh, I, still have, I still have my drain power card. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> That's a nat one. Uh, oh, no. So, uh, just for your records. Right. Oh, boom. One second. Oh, are we rolling? Oh. Ah. Fucking and then a building. natural 20 right after. And a 19. Oh Boom. my god. Did they surprise us or do we surprise them? They've got the <laughs> surprise on you since you guys <laughs> just kind of walked in, no problem. Yeah. Menacing the professor did it. <laughs> Monumental. Monumental ravenous a giant centipede. That's a, that's a lot Two of... Not once. That's a lot of names. <gasps> no! Kendra, baby, rolled a nat one. <laughs> That's okay. She could stay in the back. Skitter, skitter, Keep skitter. Keep behind uh, you. Attack the Zalix. Flat-footed Zalix. Oh, boy. <gasps> Is that... I guess oh. you're flat-footed. Is that a crit? Flat-footed? Is that a minus two to my AC? Yes. Hold on. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think so. All right. Surprise! I'm gonna I'm gonna change the music for this one. Ow! Oh my god! That's a centipede going munch. Uh, this is what you wanted. Fourteen no. damage. Yes. Give me a fortitude save. No. Yes. This is fun because uh, Shadowkin just dealt with centipedes in the other game. Shadowkin, they follow you everywhere. I know, I see. Oh boy! Nice! <laughs> yes! Matilla? So. Yes! Do it! <laughs> Have some poison damage. Yes! She's unconscious. She's dying. Yes! <laughs> Likewise? You just, you just hear her say, yes! And <laughs> drop to the ground. I'm sure Andreas will have a better time with that. Oh, yeah. Especially if it doesn't hit. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's get into this initiative then. 
Saving. Man with the gun. All right, so I choose fire for my element for the uh, uh, energy shot that that activates upon rolling initiative. All right, so you got fire bullets. Oh, uh, oh, I need to roll my wellspring. Oh, yeah. This is definitely a stressful situation. And also, I am down a spell slot, so... Uh, and then I will, uh... Oh. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh no. no. Well, yeah, uh, this is how we die, folks. <laughs> uh, is that a wellspring surge? I'm gonna go ahead and a surge. And... Right on top of Zaven's head. <laughs> so. Doesn't that happen on her turn or does that happen <gasps> right now? when initiative is rolled. Oh fuck. Hang on. <laughs> if she rolls good, she gets a spell slot back. If she rolls bad, it goes bad. Magic. Let's oh my see. god, I'm gonna cry. We're gonna have a TPK. Bad things happen. <laughs> Dallas well, is already down. Right next to Kendra, on, too. On the bright side, you can't crit fail this. <laughs> it's a flat check, right? Yeah, so you generate a wellspring surge to with a spell level chosen randomly from your top three levels of spell slots. You only have one. So you've got a spell, you've got a wellspring surge for your first level. Cool. Uh, actually. Uh, yeah, you generate a Wellspring Surge at level 1. Give me another d20. That's what that is. This is where we figure out what yeah. happened. Yep. We're all gonna die. This is glorious. Literally shaking right now. Number so 10. Happy. Anti-magic eruption. Oh shit. The Surge attempts to counteract a random spell active on you and each other creature within a 10 foot burst. I don't have any spells active. Uh, I, mean, I don't think any of you have spells yeah. active. Nobody no. had spells. Yeah, so. Okay, so yeah, a, a burst of magic not bad, not bad. Kind of erupts from you, okay. and uh, you feel like a little bit of static, but nothing happens. That could have been worse. All right. But you don't get your spell slot, unfortunately. Oh, I did. Cool. All right, so uh, I am going to what are you doing. Oh yeah. Uh, go ahead. I'm gonna fire at uh. The centipede that just took down uh, Zalix. So, da, da, da. Pew pew. Twenty to hit. Will hit. All right. So here is the regular weapon damage, and then it's a it's one point of fire damage in addition to that. So six total. Uh, okay. And then I will thoughtful reload. Um, can I get a what type of check is that? Nature? Yeah, it'll be nature on these. Okay. I'm trained in this. Damn it. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, what do you want to find out? Anything in specific? Uh, it, it, <clears throat> I know they're not like undead, so it, do I know the, if the poison that possibly took down Zalix is going to be uh, continuing to do any sort of lasting effect to her oh, while yeah. she's unconscious? That poison okay. will continue to do damage to her, and it's not pretty. Okay, um, oh goodness, do I have anything decent? That can and I, this? since you asked about the poison, I can tell you it's a DC 16 on that poison. Okay, 16 on the poison. All right, um, I'm not, I, I'm not trained in medicine, but I'll, I'll tell, I'll tell, uh, Provinza, like Provinza, Zalix is poisoned. She needs help. Okay. And um, then for my third thanks. action, I'll fire again with the map five at the same enemy. Sure. Not going to end with that. that. Damn. Okay. Uh, and that'll end my turn. Alex. Uh, so you're a dying one. Mm -hmm. Um, I need you to make me a death save. 
Just a flat 20. I believe that's what it is. Yep. Is this the same death save rules as an Ivy? It's very no. similar. It's it's 10 plus your dying value. Oh. That 20. <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> does this mean she's gonna live? What does getting the net on that? Probably nothing. Just that I'm not dying anymore. I think it, it saves you by you. two, reduces it by two or something, I think. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Uh, it's recovery check. On a crit success, your dying value is reduced by two. So yeah, you, you stabilize with that, no problem. And now, uh, However. make me a forty save. Hey! Hey, and hey. you recover from the poison. Dude, just at zero and wounded, one. Not today. Not today, Zalex. Not today. Pinsa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Centipede. He's gonna skitter his way up here. Going to lash out at Andreas with the mandibles. Oh no. That is a crit. Wait, no. Sorry, not no, a crit. Not a crit? Sorry, sorry. That, I, I was looking at it from flat footed. Ah. It's, it's, I'm not flat footed anymore because I'm not surprised. Not a crit. Right. So, so, it rolled a damage. two on the die, so yeah, three damage there. And then make me a 40 to save against its venom. Come on, this is my specialty. No, I'm going to hero point that. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna discard this one. Sorry, I was picking which card to get rid of. I accidentally opened them like five times. <laughs> Still not enough. better. All right, so you're taking some poison. You got a uh, All right. you got a D10 poison on you. I believe that's applied on application. That's what I did with Alex. I'll do it again. Yikes. Jeez. Why are you going the so heck and heck here? kind of monsters are these? Centipedes. <laughs> I'm learning to dislike centipedes. <laughs> centipedes are scary. Are you trying to upset me against centipedes? Is that what this is? Like I didn't know they off at D10 poison. I thought it was. I thought it got progressively worse. Just oh, get does. wrecked in the face, guys. It does get worse. Oh no! Oh god. That hits. So I'll be down. No, I'll use my willing, uh, willing death to reduce the damage by two. I don't know that that does anything, well, though. Let's see. Three damage. So reduced by two, <laughs> reduced you by take two one. Is one. So well, down? Uh, willing death no, only probably if it, would, if it would down them otherwise. Yeah. Well, would the three damage down them? No. Oh, it wouldn't? Oh, okay, then never mind. Yeah, you still have that. Okay. Just yeah, I have one hit point. <laughs> oh, god damn it. He's got Holy. one hit point and he's poisoned. Oh, god. Oi. Vinsa. Oh god. <laughs> well. Oh. Can I? Mm. Uh, actually, oh, I'm going to use this. I'm, I'm gonna act. Oh, well, why did that just pull up interest whenever I tried to open this card? How do I play a card? <laughs> I would like to play you, a card. You right-click and reveal. Yeah. I would like to play this card for... Green power. Oh, oh. When you activate a magic <laughs> item that casts a spell. Oh, oh, magic item. Okay, cool. And also, I'm glad that it, that doesn't work because I was going to do a three-action heal. <laughs> oh, wow. That would have <laughs> definitely killed Andre. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
I'm glad that that doesn't work. Just, uh, just do a two action heal on Zaux. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then I can heal him with a good berry. Two good uh, berries. I will actually play the call this card instead. Called um, foe. Called foe. Uh, I'm gonna do it on the one that has hit Zalix, since they're the injured one. Um, plus two status bonus to attack rolls made against that four well, but I take a minus four status penalty to attack rolls that I make on anyone else and that okay. goes to the end of my next so you, turn. So you've called out that you're going to kill the hell out of that menacing ravenous hey, giant hey centipede. You. Stop trying to kill my friend, it's not their time to die. <laughs> Alright, um, what you doing with that bonus? With that, I am going to Let's do a ray of frost on that little centipede. Okay. Ray of frost, you've got a plus two bonus on this. Um, I'm gonna plus two circumstance bonus. Uh, That'll hit. Is that is that correct? Yes. Yes, yes. sir. The bonus got added in. Give me damage. Is the bonus transfer over to damage as well or no? No, it was just uh, just to All attack. Right. Uh, that, that'll be five gold on that little centipede looking. All right. Uh, and then I will use my third action to just kind of get over here. Okay. Not, this is where I this is where I die. Not looking too hot for Andreas. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing I can do either. He's only got one hit point left, so reducing anything by two won't do anything. Oh, and of yeah, course he rolls high. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> He's with itself. It's going to Aww. get her over the downed Andreas. Oh god. And attack the gunslinger with its second attack. Oh, okay. so close to that 20. Andreas, who's on the ground at dying one and still poisoned. That stabilizes. Okay, so you're at wounded one now. Now give me a fortitude save. Roll high. <laughs> oh no. Can, oh I burn, can I burn I my hero burn. point? Wait, wait, can I, I have another me? hero point that I'm okay, going to burn for, it. for that. Okay. Do your thing. That'll pass. Good. You are good on the poison. <sighs> just wait, dying. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm really unconscious, dying. but... Should I one. just click discard uh, the card? Yeah, the card you use, just discard it. Okay. So... Kendra... Actually has some. She... Like... So you start making some hand signs, casting something, and you watch as a, uh, a like a glowing eye glyph. She draws it in front of her, and each of you get a plus one to attack damage and saves against fear. Yay. She just gave you a divination version of Inspire Courage. Yay. That's awesome. Oh, she's a wizard bard. <laughs> so she's <laughs> hot and she's useful. All right, so... Uh, with that plus one, and uh, I, I, I'm feeling pretty good about this, I'm going to go ahead and use the dagger portion of my dagger pistol to go ahead and make some attacks at this guy who just tried to come up on me. Uh, so, strikes, plus seven. How do I do this without using ammunition? Uh, no. Put no Always ammo, maybe? Yeah, the only strike. Oh, here it is. Strike melee. It's in. It's not in my auto. It's in my other one. And then I have mm. to add circumstance plus one. Add. Must be an. I. I. Oh. 
and roll. Nice. That'll hit 20. it. All right, and then uh, damage, and then plus one to that, so it's four damage. Okay. Uh, it doesn't get the fire damage because it's not a bullet, as far as I know, anyways. Um, and then I will go ahead and... <clears throat> um, huh? That, as a heads up, you're using a hybrid weapon, so since you landed that strike with the melee, you can make a, make a ranged attack with no penalty. Yeah. Well, with the normal multi-attack penalty, following that up. Sweet. What's the mul normal multi-attack penalty? Minus five. So yeah, it's, it's your normal minus five. It's just like it, this can't provoke any uh, reactions or anything. You just oh, sweet. shoot them, no problem. Sweet. So I will go ahead and do that then. Yeah, you stab uh, them and then pull the trigger. Yep, pretty much. I'm going to use a hero point on that. Let me just discard sure. this second card and try and reroll that. Because I really want this to hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to add my circumstance plus one. Come on. No! It was on an 18 and it rolled to the four. I got nothing. Okay. Uh. And then... So, final action is another reload. <laughs> and it'll be in my turn. Zalex is unconscious. Mm-hmm. Are you dying, dying one or two? They're, they're wounded. both wounded. They're not actually wounded bleeding out once. anymore. Okay. Or just unconscious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I crit. Skitter, skitter. Crit oh. saved. Oh god, run! Skitter, skitter. Well, if I'm in that back one, if I am in that back one, is this uh, would they technically be within range to hit me? You are in that okay. square. Uh, starting to get a technicality. Yeah, 18's gonna hit. It's a fun okay. campaign, guys. The TPK is real. I'm just gonna do it. Uh, it was pretty good. Points. Was it good for you? Because this is good for me. So that's six damage. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Oops. No, you can keep it. You can keep it. It's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, it can die. It's six damage. Yeah. Check that. That's exactly what happened, actually. Yeah. Oh, it God. Cool. Love that. It, uh... You should have... You should have at least this. But... Rinza, give me a fort save. Fortitude? Yeah. Is attacking Provenza? Like, <laughs> it should be. Um, I want to use my card as a hero point. Sure. Oh, oh thank God. That. Nice. Okay, you passed. No problem. But it's got another attack. 15 yeah, to hit. It's my AC. Ooh. Oh god. Three damage. Yeah. Not down. What did you save one more time? <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> Alright. Oh god. <laughs> Provinza, fighting for your life. Oh god. Um. This is when we use the fire. <laughs> <laughs> now, fire now. I could I fear it? Uh, because I could use fire on that one, or I could do it on this lesser. Don't worry about the one, one in front of me. You're the one that's trying to hit you, because you're the only one that can heal right now. <laughs> oh yeah. right. Yeah. Either either yeah. that or bring Zalks up, so you have yeah. numbers on your side. 
Uh, could one, two. Um, could I, if I theoretically move to this middle tile, could I do uh, one action heal and then turn around and whack uh, the, the thing with my staff? Um, Would that logistically work? Yeah, that'd be three actions total. One to move, one to yeah. heal, then one to strike. But you could just do a two action heal for bonus healing and then but strike. But I don't, don't want to get, I don't want to get the centipede in there. No, well, two action two... heal. Oh, oh. Is just a ranged heal for one person. And it heals yeah. a lot. One oh, d8 right. plus eight. Uh, yeah. I'll I'll do that. I'm gonna do a two action heal. Okay. On Salad. The score. Uh -oh. <laughs> the enemy takes an attack opportunity. What? You're good. All right, oh, Salad is healing for 10. Oh, God. And then I'm gonna... I'm gonna whack. Actually... Um... What is this ultrasonic pulse? That's your sprite uh, power. I'm gonna do it. It's one action. Uh... uh Oh, what? You're very garbled. With Seems just like regular back. This is awesome. Killed one if I just had a turn. Yeah. <laughs> you will in a minute. Surprise round took you out, then the next round took me out. So. Oh, it was the surprise that did it, because it, it wouldn't just... have been a crit. Yeah, if someone would have let the scout scout. Well, it didn't have was anything. Here like a few days ago. It didn't have anything to do with that. Once I was in that other room, I was fine because I rolled a check that passed. Like, let's just go into the next room. And he went better. first, so. Matilla, how's your. There we go, we're back. Yay! Welcome back! Oh, okay, Welcome back. the weird part is the internet isn't even the problem. I have no idea what just happened there. Yeah, Kai was still in there. Problem. Oh well, it exists oh, well. and it's back now. It, it gave you guys time to strategize. No, Which all we, we did was say about how we're gonna die. Oh, we're yep. like, oh we're all dead. You're talking about dying. I, know what one I, of my I, I hope you guys are excited to try out your, your uh, next characters. I am. Uh, it's gonna I be. It's wondering. absolutely gonna be a. Uh... <laughs> Matilda, you know who I'm bringing if Kermit's in eyes. You know I mean, where. You know where I'm going. So. I guess I could bring in Namiko. <laughs> oh my God, the dream right. team. <laughs> right, Prevent, well, you uh, you cast heal on on Zalix. 
What else were you doing? Yes. Yeah. Got yeah. It. Ten that. points back. I'm gonna right? do my ultrasonic impulse. What does that mean? It's an, basically an unarmed strike from a range, uh, because sprite. Oh. A sprite okay. spark. Kawa. Sprite spark. Sure. Go for it. Kawabunga. Cute. 23. Get wrecked. And I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna do this uh, guy that's immediately close, me. closer to me. Refresh my connection. That didn't roll. It was a 23. 23 will yes. definitely hit. And then my unarmed. <laughs> where? Uh, why is it? Where's the damage thing? It says you have a 20 foot range. Yeah, it's it's right there. If you talk, if you like, click yourself, and you got your your like quick buttons at the top. Oh, oh, right. I'm fully not using that. There's your problem. Yeah. The action HUD is the best. <laughs> Damage. Uh, that's... Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep it with the guy who's... Cl the one that all of our mouses are over. And, uh, the one right in front of it kills over dead. Cool. <laughs> As you chi blasted in the face. That's what you get for trying to kill my friends! Kamehameha! Succeeding in killing a friend. Alright. And... It's my turn. Centipede... You're dead. Centipede attack the gunslinger. That's Before. gonna hit. Ow. Yep. That's gonna hit the pilla on the warpath. <sighs> Have three Four. damage and give me a fort save. Ow. Damage. And I will roll a fortitude save somehow. It's the, uh, this it's the HUD. I'm beginning to really dislike centipedes. You're good. That, that is safe. That poison's killing us. Yeah, poison is no joke in this game. How about, uh, how about a 16? <sighs> 16, I don't think that hits. Where's my AC? You've got an AC of 18. So yeah, yep. no, I'm fine. Look at you. Look at you. All right, the, uh, the centipede's going to raise its shield. I mean, I mean, it's gonna try to fight a third time. <laughs> yeah, no, that's definitely not no. gonna hit. <laughs> that's a really weak shield. Uh, Andreas drools a little I'm bit on the ground. She's gonna run in here and make sure you're not dead. No, she doesn't know. <gasps> oh, shit. No, she was there. She was there for the positive she, healing. Oh, oh, shit. She also oh, yeah, doesn't she have was healing there. magic. Good. Oh, God. Good. Oh, she's she just in there to be there? <laughs> she's just yeah, checking she's, his pulse. She's gonna, okay. she's gonna give you guys another Inspire Courage. Here's the God. game you put together, Matilla. Hoping people live forever is All a right. curse. And thank, so since my God last action on the last round good. was to... Um, reload i'm going to do the stab first and then the shoot again so strike stabby stabby plus one mod roll uh 24 with uh does that have the circumstance bonus it does okay that'll, that'll yeah. hit him okay it's not uh, so i'll over damage. Okay, so that's three points of damage. Uh, and then I will pull off the map five pistol shot with a plus one. Good. Roll, come on this time. Give me something good. An 18. That hits him. Yes! Bullets. Oh, yeah. Bullets. And then it does... It does get a plus one fire damage because this is the third shot that has hit this All round. Right. And that's the last shot that has you the fire damage. You stab at it and pull the trigger, and as it takes that bullet, it it scatters under the ground. Ugh. <laughs> Scorpion or centipedes? That poison, man. Poison. <laughs> I, I will admit, after two people went down, I gave them the weak template. Oh god. <laughs> We're just level ones here, I mean... That's I true, we are level ones. <laughs> and we're missing a member. Yeah. And if you blow Ooh, on us, we all go party. down. <laughs> 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 he 
killed the healer to start. <laughs> All right. Oh. Well, at least Zalix is up. Oh, Zalix is <laughs> laying on the floor, is sobbing. <laughs> uh, Provincess is gonna like run over. I'm just yeah. like. I told you that you're not allowed no. to die. You can't try that shit with me, okay? Why did you bring me back? Why? Because uh, you're not allowed to die. I mean it. You're not. Not today, at least. Right. Maybe tomorrow. Andreas. Oh. <laughs> he, he's already up, isn't he? No, no he still has zero HP. Uh, I'm Kendra's still gonna, gonna arguing turn. over my body. Yeah, Kendra's gonna tend to your wounds, giving you a, a six from that medicine check. All right, she's gonna <laughs> slowly groggily come uh, awake from like the I'm smelling salts. I'm gonna like... look around for <sighs> any burrow holes that those things could have come in from, or to find out whether they were planted here instead by someone. What hmm. happened? So I'm gonna make a perception. Uh, well, there's some really big centipedes, um, and you almost died, and also Alex shit. almost died. Um, don't die, please. That is the. Uh... It was not a pleasant experience, but once again, Pervinsa, you were correct. It was not my day to die. You see, I'm never wrong with these sorts of things. This is why everybody gives me uh. their buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so... She hands these over to... She hands these over to, um... David, you don't see anywhere along the walls that these centipedes could have crawled in. I also could really use some I... sort of healing. Yeah, she hands I those over to you. I think perhaps Provenza. whoever visited this location before So just click on left, yourself and then hit heal. Left yeah. a little surprise. On the 9 and the 5. Um Oh, there's two. Yeah, there's a 9 and a 5. Sweet. That puts me back at full. Yes, I, I think perhaps that whoever visited this crypt previously left surprised. I see no burrow holes from Centipede. This is the most strange. Uh, well, what is uh, done is done. It is the past. We are all alive. I am only slightly bleeding. I, I spit like greenish like saliva out from the poison. Let us, uh, uh, let's get the ghost weapons and get out of here before more guys come and jump on my face off. I I cannot I cannot leave my wife a widow and my baby girl without a father. It is uh we have to go. Uh can I get a look at these centipedes and uh maybe perhaps like a nature check to see if they look terribly out of place or if they're sure. if they if they're funky at all. I just okay. want to see if they're funky centipedes. Uh, I assume plus one is gone. Uh, the, the plus one didn't apply to nature, it was just for specific oh. things. Okay, it, it's showing up. Uh, it's, never mind. 22? Uh, 22. You know, the, the centipedes aren't really out of place in this region. Mm -hmm. Um, you think they, it wouldn't be unlikely for them to slither in here and try to make a nest out of it? All right, so opening the casket. Opening the casket. No, wait, wait, check for traps first. Oh, right. Yes, that uh, the tra I will check for the traps. Oh, I God. Can check for these. these. These are things that I can do, yes? As <laughs> Alex stands up <laughs> slowly. Be it in there. Uh, it's a 17 to see if there are the traps on the casket. Casket does not appear trapped. Okay. It doesn't look to be trapped, but stand back. I probably still healthiest of group. <laughs> so I put both my hands on my staff and I take a step back. <laughs> or Vince just goes a little forward. All right. Um, so I'll uh, I open up the uh, the casket then. with this Matt? Yep. Yep. So Zaven will open up the 
casket once his allies take a step back. I don't know, Provence is stepping forward, she wants to see. So, there's just some stuff here. There's stuff. <laughs> like stuff. Um, as you push back the, uh, the, the lid of the sarcophagus, you're greeted to a cache of supplies. Supplies! Supplies! <laughs> Roll initiative. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> no! So... <laughs> Look at all these arrows. Yeah, there's a lot of arrows in there, actually. So, let me just run down this list. Because, uh, we've got a dozen silver-tipped arrows. Someone taking notes? I don't know how to access the notes inside of Foundry. I'm taking notes. Okay. Are you doing it in Foundry? No. I'll, I'll write it in, too. Our I can put channel. it in later on the next channel. You gotta create a loot NPC, Attila. You can create I am a... not doing that. Nope. A I'm party gonna loot go... one. I'm going to go ahead and give you a chat in Discord for that. <laughs> okay. I was just... yeah, Task Force, there's, a, there's an actual loot key option in Foundry yeah, for Pathfinder. It's Second. just an absolute nightmare. I'll, I'll figure it out. I just I just say stuff and then I drag and drop everything into that loot sheet and then yeah, that player can drop it out. <laughs> I, I'll get I'll get to that eventually. That that okay. uh, at face value that sounds awful. It, it's a lot easier than everybody trying to Google silver tipped arrows to add personally to their sheets. <laughs> nah. It's all good. It's all good. We'll see that your Discord list. Uh, area. what grade silver are they? Grade? Like, fight undead yeah. silver. Are they... Are they pure silver? Are they, like... They're... They bypass low grade. silver. Damn, they, they count as silver. All, all it is is they count as silver for purposes and weaknesses. But there's different grades. <laughs> I know uh, this. But there's different grades. It would be the low grade silver. Okay, low grade silver. Just waiting to figure out what all is in this place. Other than arrows. It's really yeah, dumb that the grade would apply to silver weaponry when it doesn't do much, aside from sundering. Whatever. Whatever. What else do we find? Uh, what was it? Got six lesser ghost charges. Nice. I'll just go ahead and pocket those. Because <laughs> my character's are... like, I know what those are. Yeah. Those are the <laughs> grenades that do positive energy damage. Yeah. It's like, you don't. I, I look at Andreas. This is not for you. <laughs> what? I have never seen such a thing. What does it do? Um, it's an explosive that uh, does what that priest did to you. Does what the priest did to you earlier. That does not sound good at all. I will stay away from there. Yes, don't throw I'll, it in I'll hold on to these. Don't don't worry. Yes. I understand how they work. Yes, I usually fight in front of the bad guys. Do you remember that? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I will make sure to throw up to other side of bad guys so that it does not hit you. I appreciate <laughs> your consideration. <laughs> you got five minor healing potions. Uh, <laughs> okay. You're, you, you can hold on to these ones, though. <laughs> I, I cannot use this. No, we can't use this. Oh, either. you can't use healing potions because it's positive. No. Oh, gosh. I'll take this. All right. That's fine. all of these things are for me. <laughs> You're cursed. It is a horrible curse. That's pretty bad. I, <laughs> I seek to remove it from my only child, so she does not have to live a life like me. Oh. Got three scroll, three 
divine scrolls of protection from evil. So divine magics. Actually, Pathfinder 2, if it's just a scroll of protection from evil, that's only divine and occult. Can both of those activate it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so oh, yeah, cool. you've got three protection from evil scrolls. As long as it's on your list, that's the key. That yeah, uh, sounds right. Yeah. Protection okay. from evil. Who can do the protections from evils? And Probably not me. At level two, I'll access a coal magic. Finally, you've got a thin dark wood case, and on the lid of it has that same golden scarab that you saw in the book earlier. Uh, Though this one doesn't appear to be a lock. It's just okay. like a. It's like it's a, a design of a golden scarab. Key. So I'll, I'll open the case. What is in the case? Inside, you find six vials. In uh, six like iron and glass vials sitting in a velvet lined indentation. What's the material inside the vial look like? You see a uh, a green swirling liquid within it. I we do like to spend some time. We we've got some time, right? So we could. It takes ten minutes to try to identify it without yeah, quick you've identification, got but uh, or could, we could maybe spend ten minutes, and somebody could treat wounds, and then yeah. ten minutes with me trying to identify this. Can we treat wounds? Because you gotta treat wounds from her, <clears throat> and I did uh, a yeah. battle medicine on me and. Battle medicine Urbana? is different from normal treatment. Battle medicine is totally different. Okay, so can I treat us? Yeah. Uh, okay. Andreas is going to be untreatable. Yeah, I'm because, immune, but but everybody else is available. To medicine? Yeah. Oh, because oh no no, it's because he he just got treated. Right 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 right. Okay. Yeah, I was treated I by thought. the NPC, so I'm immune to four. Like so, two. it's just me who needs it anyway. Yeah, I'm I'm barely injured. Are you sure? I've only got three points down. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Unless. Looking back up. I'm back up at full. And then you just tell me what we need to roll. To or not medicine. Or I'm I'm gonna yeah. need an occult for these. No. All right. Sorry, what was in, in the case again? I'm just trying to get everything uh, down. The case had six glass vials with like iron tips to them, with a uh, green swirling liquid. Andreas is currently eyeballing them. Can I make up another, um... Oh my god. I, do we have enough I'm... time to make up another Goodberry? My note deleted itself. Um, I just put everything in the loot chat. There's a loot chat? No, oh, there, there is, is now. a loot chat. Yeah. Uh. Um... So... Do we need... Could I also do an occultism check? Sure, go for it. These are these are interesting. Well, it appears we don't know what these vials are right now. They're pretty. They are pretty. <laughs> and green. It's occultism. I'm going to say uh, yes, it's occultism. Yeah, with all of you working together, yeah. I'm gonna say you're able to put it together. These are haunt siphons. In essence, when a when a haunt would manifest itself before you, as a single action, you can twist the top of this vial, and it will siphon the power from the haunt, doing 3d6 points of positive energy damage to the haunt. If it's enough to reduce the haunt's hit points to zero, the mist inside the haunt siphon glows green. If not, if it does not reduce the haunt to zero hit points, the haunt siphon is still expanded and becomes non-magical. So, so they're already green. Yeah, but they're not but they're glowing. Not glowing. Okay. So they're like consumables that you can use to specifically to take care of haunts being. Will like, those injure? Tracks. Will those injure? No, they're uh, specific to a target, so it's not an area okay. effect positive specific to a target okay so it won't injure him no good uh right there's actually a second part to this if okay. a siphon 
that a haunt siphon that that successfully neutralizes a haunt with its damage can no longer be used to harm haunts, but it channels the negative energy and becomes a grenade that does a d6 points of negative energy damage with a direct hit within so, one, one how, splash. How many d6? Just one d6? Just one d6. So would that be one d6 of healing to Andreas? No. That's no. negative energy damage, not negative energy healing. I hate the fact that they're different. But we could use them as grenades, right? positive energy healing is still damage. No. To Andreas. Positive yeah. healing hurts me. Yes. Positive damage hurts me but does not oh. hurt you. You guys are immune to positive damage. I'm immune to negative damage, so that grenade won't hurt me. But it does yep. not heal me because it's not negative healing. So you can throw that grenade at me and it won't hurt me at all. So why don't we give those to Andres? Just because it seems like that would be the most effective use of our time. I also think he probably is the safest one to put explosives with. <laughs> well, these particular explosives especially. And do I have enough time, Matilla, to recover a focus point to make a good berry? Uh, yeah, while well, you've been working on healing people. It was just me, and I think I failed, so... <laughs> well, a good berry would work but... for Andreas, too, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, and she'd give that good berry to Andreas. I can't <laughs> heal him, because he just got medicine, so I give him the good berry. So... I appreciate your concern, my friend. Of course. All right. So we have the items. We now can go investigate at the Church of Phrasma, yes, the temple, to get the uh, list of names for the prison. Yes. Yes. Mm. Really hope that they're not we... all the same name. It's all Craig. It would be awful if they're all, all the Craig list. All the Craigs. <laughs> Only Craigs. Right. Craig, Craig, so. Craig, Craig, Craig.